Oh, got the yawn. So, I'm on the wrong page, that's why. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on time. Um, let's put it to a vote. All right, it's settled. Do you get to the Doug district very often? Yo, thank you, Scottish boy. What am I saying? Of course you don't. Right Let's on time. Be right on time. As always, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, that's democracy right there. What's up, Hagsy? What's up, Nelly? What's up, ZZZZZ? What's up, Square Mag? What's up, Jack Gaming or J4K? I'm not sure what you go by. What's up, Chris Parsons? What's up, Toxin? What's up, Ed Mux? What's up, Alex Rod? What's up, Barn? What's up, Ali Miawi? What's up, Stream Labs? What's up? Crafted men, what's up? I think that's everybody. Hello. What's the plan for today? The plan is we're going to decide what are the top 10 foods in video games. Like, of all video games. So it'll be kind of us perusing through the, the entirety of food inside of video games that exist. <laughs> Once we've decided the top 10, then we will do a top 10 ranking just like last time. Breath of the Wild dubious food is in there. The only rules is that we're going to cap it at two foods per game, so we can't just do, like, you know, 20 Minecraft foods or whatever. Um, and it's Iron Chef rules. Iron Chef tasting rules. Uh, judge? Do you get to the judge district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course okay. you don't. Taste the dishes and base them on taste, presentation, and orig originality. So we'll, once we have like our list of foods, then we'll vote on them based on both taste, what we imagine Jennifer, the taste to be, and originality. Sorry, please take me back. Good luck, Wonder Boy Kevin. Thank you, Squid Shooter, for three months. I appreciate it. Now I don't have, I don't really have like a list of. Yo, thanks, Zawaka. Good, good to have you, dude. Um, Pokemon Shield Curry. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't have a list. We're going to just kind of have to go down. Can you turn the music down slightly? Because I can't fully hear you. I'm sorry. You're not going to like my stream in general. It's, uh, we got a lot of loud fucking music here. Hi, Doug. Can't wait to see what shenanigans you are doing this time. Legit just bored in the car working on the cook political party, which I believe you should affiliate with hashtag cook. Cook political party. Huh. Yeah, sure. Now I'm officially part of the cook, political, whatever. It's, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm in. All right. So the way we're gonna do this, uh, we're just gonna look through. We're gonna take suggestions from chat. We're gonna we're gonna add them to the list if if people like them enough. Then we'll narrow down our full list of foods into uh, a top ten. Once we have the top ten, then we will actually vote one by one and rank them until we Minecraft have Minecraft puff of fish the best tasting and most original food in video games. Again, it's going to be 50-50 um, voting. Originality and plating plus taste. Any plans for after the tier list? Yeah, depending on how long it takes, I want to try a, a battle bets thing with Google Maps, which may or may not work well. We'll see. Okay. Let's start looking up some foods. Yo, Els Dota, thank you very much for the five months, man. Do you get to the um, district very so, often? Oh, what am I saying? I'm, of course uh, you do. The way I'll do this is just Evening like a real quick. Yeah, pull this over here. Uh, go in the list. So when we when we have a food, I'll do a quick uh, <laughs> from Ponyo, not a video game. We'll do a quick vote of whether or not it should go in the list. We'll get a big list and then we'll uh, we'll knock it down. Okay. Uh, I just saw one that we have to do, which is the sandwich from TF2. Do you get to the now, district very often? Again, you're rating this oh, on two factors, saying? Jarwood. Thank you, you very don't. much. Two factors here, right? One is taste. Two is a plating and originality. I think it tastes pretty good because it heals you. But should the sandwich get to the go district in the list? Very this is not oh, even top ten. Saying? This is just should we even consider it for top ten? Danny Stark, thank you very much. Appreciate it. 
Okay, clear yes for sandwich. That was an easy one. Let's knock out some... We'll, we'll knock out easy ones first. Sandwich. From TF2. Alright, you're on the list. Congrats, sandwich. Uh, okay, what next? There's a... Uh, the entire luncheon kingdom. I don't know that... <laughs> Herb baked it. God, there's gonna be so many shit. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go through these one at a time. Alright, Curry from Pokemon Shield. We're gonna we're gonna have to start we're gonna have to be pretty critical. We have way, way, way more options than fucking slots. Okay, we'll do spicy sausage curry, which is questionably made out of Pokemon. Again, you're voting half originality, half on taste. Probably tastes great, and it's probably pretty original to use Pokemon meat and feed you it to get your to own the Pokemon. district very often. Oh, what am I saying? All right, should Pokemon curry go in? Point Crow, thank you very. Oh, uh, oh, gifted to the Point Crow. And Doug Doug's clone, thank you for you get the tier one sub. Very often. Welcome, oh, me. What am I saying? Of course you don't. No to the sausage curry. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Sorry, Pokemon. Skyrim Sweet Roll. Do you get to the Dog District very often? Rainbow Doggo, thank you oh, very much. What am I saying? Of course you don't. Let me guess. Someone stole your Sweet Roll. <laughs> um. Let me guess. Someone stole your Sweet Roll. All right. Let me guess. Sweet roll. Someone stole your sweet roll. From Skyrim. Let me guess. Is that going in? Someone stole your sweet roll. Final Fantasy. Just 15. an idea, but I remember a lot of the food in Final Fantasy 15 being highly detailed for some reason. Interesting. Let me guess. Okay. Sweet roll's pretty obvious. Looks like an asshole with glue on it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Objection! My favorite food is sweet roll in Skyrim. About it, also, most hello, foods surges, look like an asshole sure your lawn with glue on it. Hey, thanks. Thanks for keeping it. Thanks for adding glue to my lawn. Alright, sweet roll's going in. Okay, a bunch of people have said Minecraft. What do, what do we do? Barn, it's... I appreciate the effort, but realistically... It's never gonna happen. Everybody's just gonna do you keep get to doing the dog district very often. Oh, what am I saying? Uh, Gleotic, thank of course you, very much. you don't. Okay, y'all, y'all are more familiar with Minecraft than I am. Thank you to the Skyrim guard. Okay, Minecraft first. Let's pick two foods from Minecraft. I know that's gonna be okay. Rotten flesh is an obvious. Seems to be a popular one. Now again. We are rating this Iron Chef style. If you haven't seen Iron Chef, it's the popular uh, cooking uh, competition show from Japan. And they rate it on three categories. Ten points for taste and five points for presentation and originality. So please keep those in mind as you vote for uh, Rotten Flesh in Minecraft. Is this one of the top ten foods in video games? And I'll put on some Minecraft music. Boom. Perfect. Okay, this is a hotly debated whether or not rotten flesh should go in. Interesting. Rotten flesh is the best food in any video game. I mean, depending on the demographic of this stream, like if you guys eat other human beings, if we, like if we've got a lot of cannibals here, I could see this being quite popular. But if you don't eat human beings, it would be on the lower end of appeal. All right, unfortunately, rotten flesh is not in the top 10 video games of the of, of the all time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, zombies. To any cannibals in the chat, I'm sorry we couldn't be more inclusive. And to everybody else, shame on you for not being open-minded about rotten flesh from other creatures. All right, Cake from Minecraft. Um looks pretty good is the originality is the plating good 
Is the originality good? Seems like a pretty basic cake to me. Holy crap, Max Grosshandler, the 20 Do you get to the community Gifted district very gifted often? subs, Jesus. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Uh, can we get a freaking few spoons up for Max Grosshandler? Thank you, man. That is nuts. Appreciate it. Welcome to 20 of y'all. Do you get to the Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. All right, cake. Should cake go on this list? Yeah, 20 is insane. Thank you, Max. Do you get to the Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Is there any, is there any interesting properties that are relevant here? Like, who makes the cake? Do you get to the Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Do you get to the, the cake Gug. district very often? That's pretty oh, fucking What am I saying? Of course you don't. You make the cake? Look, I don't know how Minecraft works. All right? I don't want to make any judgments or assumptions. Uh, thanks again, Do you Max. get to the Gug Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Thank you guys. All right, congratulations don't. to Cake. You are in the list. Cake from Minecraft. All right. Is there anything else like we need to Do definitely you get to hit the Gug Gug district very often? Oh, what oh portal cake is very good. Don't. Portal cake is very good. Cake from portal. Do you get to the Gug district very often? Look at that cake. Oh, what am I saying? This is the cake, of which don't. is in fact real and not a lie, because you can see it right there. Should portal cake go on the list? And do you get to the Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you do Human don't. meat from Daisy. What if all of our top ten foods are just <laughs> are just human meat, and then we put it out publicly? Do you get and everybody else like, oh, they, they really oh, like eating saying? humans over at that don't. stream. Uh, Dimitrios, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. All right, portal cake. Do you get to the dog district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Great job, Portal. Uh, egg from Resident Evil. I mean, ideally, you it's like Doug. District very it's often. not just. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Okay, hold on. There's a few. There's a few other obvious ones. Dubious food from Breath of the Wild. Let, let's hit any like incredibly obvious. Do you ones. get All to right. the Doug District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Okay, so the description. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't you hurt you, though. Do you get to the district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Again, plating and originality. It looks pretty original. Do you get to the dog district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. And it could be made out of rocks. Should dubious food be in the top ten Do you best get to the foods in a video game? Oh, what am I saying? Ever. Of course you don't. Oh, Undertale and some noodles. Oh, that is pretty good. Do you get is to this, the Doug district very often? Is this coming from? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Is this vote stemming from the originality or the taste? What, I mean, it's going in. Do you get to the Gug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Yes. Okay. What's up, Jeff? Do you get to the Gug district very often? <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Is Toad a mushroom? Like, is he Do you get to the Gug district what is very hat? often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Objection! Those who support Kekanomis. Okay, he is a fictional mushroom humanoid who primarily appear. Okay, does it. While Toad is the name of an individual, it also Objection! refers to an entire species. Is the food of eatable in game? The portal cake is pretty famous, but you don't eat it. I mean, it's what you don't. Technically, you don't eat any of these video game foods. It's what we imagine. Do you get to the, the Doug district very be. often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Right, right. 
Did, okay, do we know if the hat is made out of mushroom or is the entire toad made out of mushroom? Because if the toad- Got okay. my income tax refund, so I wanted to share it. Okay. Also, the grandma soup from Wind Waker. Oh, it's a that's super right. booster mushrooms from Mario. Man, these are really good. Okay, so we're covering the mushroom right now. I think we can all agree that <laughs> the mushroom- Sweet rolls, game me rolls. Mm, and we, we can all agree that the Super Mario mushroom is a good one, right? The question is, is Toad made out of, uh, Objection! is he made is out Bezos of, is Jeff a Toad with his hat off? Very good question. Is Toad made out of, uh, made Objection! entirely out of Can mushrooms, right? Because, look, in this picture he takes off his hat, right, implying that the hat is mushroom and his body is not. But there's a correction here. Though Toad has been seen wearing a mushroom hat on his head in the non-canon Mario cartoons, it was confirmed by Super Mario Odyssey producer that since the creation of the character in 1985, the mushroom cap was intended to be part of his head. And that would imply that if the head is mushroom, his entire body is mushroom, right? And if that's true, then we can eat Toad. And he is a food. Uh, now, I ask you. Um, we have confirmed that Toad... <laughs> this really is Jeff Bezos. Producer statement which is slightly creepy about Toad so that as it turns out is actually Toad's head. I'm going to have to leave it to all of you to figure out exactly how that works out. Maybe... Do you is get to the toad, cave district very one of often? the best foods oh, in video what am I games? Saying? Of course you don't. Toilet seat, thank you very much. Crafted, thank you. Uh, Max Gross Handler, thank you for the hundred bits. Big Max, I bleat, I bleat my meat. Thank you. Um, well, do you get I'm to the Doug. district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. I'm very happy to announce that Toad is potentially one of the top ten foods in video games. You know, really, if we if we are cannibals and we eat rotten, any character in video gaming can could Mario be one Odyssey of the best dinosaur. foods in video games. <laughs> All right. Is eating totally Thank you, Conscience. Victims. Thank you, Doug Doug's clone. Thank you, Mick Max. Ooh. Ooh. All right, thank you. It's pretty sweet. Make Amanda an option. Amanda, do you want to eat Amanda? This list is going to be pretty confusing if half of it are like humans. At least, okay, how about this? We, we can add- Link is the best snack of video games, change my mind. How about we can add video game characters if there is a reasonable- if there's a reasonable explanation that they are, in fact, a food. With Toad, there's a clear line of logic that Toad is just an edible mushroom, right? Rather than just being, um, attractive. Because Kirby stirs him in a pot. Well, I think, again, Kirby seems to be a cannibal rather than... Rather than the characters necessarily being edible. All right, Celeste Stra What is strawberry pie in Celeste? Well, okay, should we do strawberry pie or just strawberry? Let's let's narrow this down first. Oh, god damn it! Sorry. Okay, there you go. One one is that we do the strawberry, and then two is that we do the strawberry pie, which is part of the ending. 
This is just a normal strawberry. Something from Undertale? Oh, yeah, we do, we do need to do something in Undertale. Nuka Cola Fallout. Oh, that's also very good. That is a great question. If you can eat Pokemon, we might. Don't forget about the enchanted gold apple. Yeah, we got to slow poke tail Pokemon. Okay, strawberry pie, and then I mean, I assume. I assume since you just voted on it, you do want it. But should the strawberry pie go into our uh, eligibility for top ten? Yeah, and what we're gonna have to. We're going to have to potentially evaluate some Pokemon as well, because that's a great point. Like, what's the, like, ice cream Pokemon? Vanilla Sight or whatever? Going to be honest. That looks pretty tasty. That looks pretty tasty. Also, sorry to Celeste, you are not going into the list. Vanillite? I don't know. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay. Undertale was a... Butterscotch pie. This was a common request. I don't even remember this. Where was butterscotch pie? Okay, I don't remember from Undertale here. I'll throw on some Undertale music while we... Uh, no matter what happens, Minecraft cake goes at the bottom because the originality and presentation trump the taste. What? Okay, Undertale Butterscotch Pie. Should it go on the list? Yes or no? You can choose between butterscotch and cinnamon. Ah, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Wait, so we should first do between butterscotch and cinnamon, right? All right, hold on, hold on. I'm canceling this, I'm canceling this. Okay, first between butterscotch one or cinnamon two. Then we're going to do does it go on the list or not. This is really loud. Sorry. Okay, so it's butterscotch. Okay, should butterscotch pie go on the list? One yes, two no. Louder? I mean, we could hit all of them. Is Rosa at the... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I, th I thought you were suggesting Rosa is a food from video games. All right, butterscotch pie from Undertale is in the list. Listen to it, Puppet Slowpoke Tail on Salad. Because I'm saying you make a mark and cook them on after some slash food. What? Is that real? Pepper Slowpoke Tail. Do stupendous stew from Odyssey. Is a valuable item. They are the severed tails of Slowpoke. Oh my god, do you eat them? Or is it like a. Description, very tasty. Okay, very tasty tail of something. Sells for a high price. So again, you're, you're, um, you are voting. You're using Iron Chef voting rules, right? So for the tail of a slow poke, which I assume has been severed from him and then cooked in some sort of very tasty way, is it one of the best foods in video games? Objection! There is also Slowpoke Tail Curry. Thank you, Deco. Music is very loud. What? I got the water, thank you. Thank you, Mercy Soul, by the way. Thank you, Dolphin Hatter. Thank you, Captain. Alrighty, slowpoke tail going in. Wait, hold on. Are we? Uh, hold on. Actually, we need snake eater. We can peach get snake eater. Peach. So, my assumption would be that if the tail of slowpoke is tasty, then the entire slowpoke tastes pretty good, and slowpoke is the food. Or are we saying that it's just the tail, like a lobster? Right? A lobster tail is the only like really good part. Okay, so let me clarify here. Which part? The entire slowpoke? Just the tail. 
or just the tip, if you will. This is critically important. Wit, is this whole boy delicious or is just the end part of the boy delicious? He looks like he's got delicious hooves. All right, just the tail. Slowpoke tail from Pokemon is going in. Magikarp, he's considered food. Magikarp, is, is there like a Magikarp dish? Is that a is that canon? This is literally called top 10 tastiest Pokemon of all time. My God. Mareep? They eat Mareep? These are all edible things? Oh my God. Crawdont? They roast Psyduck? Okay, Vanillite. Isn't this like a legendary Pokemon? I'm pretty, you know, unknowledgeable about Pokemon. Well, that's fake. Dish Orange Ho-Ho. Is this not real? Orange Ho-Ho Pokemon. Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Doug Doug spoons up. Thank you, Elboosty. Appreciate it. Damn, six months. Thank you, dude. I don't know. Cuphead's insides because he's a cup. I mean, I don't think there's any food. It's fake. All right. But Magikarp's probably edible. Okay. Should Magikarp go in the list? Oh, wait. Wrong vote. Wrong vote. Hold on. Should Magikarp go in? We're doing capping out at two per. And then we'll do, uh, the, uh, then we'll do the Golden Apple oh, from Minecraft. I if I can get it seven in. Seven months? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Objection! It's a tangent for second, but I'm going to Vegas next week, and I see Mandalay Bay has an aquarium there. Is Rosa there? It'll get you a picture if so. Sorry, Magikarp. I don't think that Magikarp, or the, sorry, that Rosa the Otter went to Mayo Burger, Papa's Burg. Guria? I don't know what that is. Um. Do you get to the Doug district very often? Oh, what, what am I doing? saying? Sorry, I keep getting distracted. The next one is um, Golden Apple from Minecraft. Objection! And as a reminder, surely we have to add the getting over it, dude, because he is in a pot. I don't know if that means he's edible, but we can certainly vote on it. We just need a plausible explanation. Enchant. Oh, the enchanted. Do you sorry. get to the Doug. district very often? Well, oh, like, what this is I the same saying? page. Of course you don't. Okay. Enchanted golden apple. I don't even know what this does because I'm terrible at Minecraft. Um, is there anything about flavor here? Does anybody have definitive evidence that the taste of this is good or bad or originality? Once again, Iron Chef rules. Half points for taste, half points for originality. It literally makes you stronger. Interesting. Okay. This would be the this would be the 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 only one we could do the only other dish we could do for Minecraft. So this would this would close out Minecraft as a category. Should Enchanted Golden Apple go on the list? Yo, Ufa Seros. Thank you very much for the two months, dude. Ace of Spades, thank you for the sub. Nelly, thank you for the bits. Tastes so good you become you resistant to fire. Yeah, a lot of foods do that, though. Best apple in gaming. Look, we'll do a, we'll do another poll sometime. Objection! To figure out Thanks what's the best for apple. for introducing me to Persona Music. Also, Chili Dogs from Sonic. Chili, that sounds disgusting. Okay, Golden Apple from Minecraft. Objection! Enchanted. You should definitely consider papyrus spaghetti. 
output from I don't even remember I played I played Undertale. I don't remember the spaghetti thing. Is it during the date? When is spaghetti part of? Oh yeah, Nuka Cola. Okay, let's just do let's knock these out real quick. Um Spaghetti from Papyrus from Undertale. Half for originality. Half for taste. He always tries to cook it for you, but it freezes. All right. I played Undertale a little while ago, so I don't remember it. Squidward. It's not from a video game. I guess he probably is in a SpongeBob video game. I think he played the wrong game if you don't remember the spaghetti. I don't know. It's just the... I, it just didn't resonate with me that much. Uh... Toxin, I'm going to go through the main ones first. Alright, sorry Spaghetti from Mr. Undertale. Objection! New Coca-Cola. Pellets. All you do in the game is eat. Pac-Man pellets. Do we know for certain that Pac-Man pellets are food? Okay, Nuka Cola, one of the flagship products of the Nuka Cola Corporation, one of the symbols of the United States culture, introduced in 2044. Um, is there any information on the taste here? Taste. The okay, okay. Ingredients: carbonated water, sugar, caffeine, phosphoric acid, citric acid, caramel color, potassium benzoate, and natural flavorings. The unique taste is a result of the combination of 17 fruit essences. Balanced to enhance the classic cola flavor. I don't know, man. Sounds like this is pretty good. Okay, bottling. The iconic curved Nuke Cola bottle was used by the company ever since the introduction. Objection! The dazzling blue I color like of the glass. Have enough bits today, so here's some more. Oh my god. Love the content. You are a wonderful boy. Hope your Valentine's Day was nice. Dude, Andrew. Thank you very, 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 very much. That is super generous. Nuke Cola. Should it go in? Boom. Again. You're voting half on flavor, half on originality of plating and presentation. Thank you again, Andrew. That's uh, that's nuts. I really appreciate it, man. Seeing a lot of Star Jock from Stardew Valley, and I agree. Okay. Star Drop Stardew Valley. I have not really played Stardew, Stardew Valley. Wait, is this a food? Oh, a mysterious fruit. Interesting, interesting. All right. Nuka Cola is going in. I think that's a strong one. Especially because. This was one where we got concrete information about the taste and presentation, which which helps justify this a bit. New Coca-Cola from Fallout. Okay, Star Drop from Stardew Valley. I don't actually know what this is. Um, special fruit. Is there anything about the taste? Um, or presentation. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of your favorite thing. So it tastes like your favorite thing. And then the presentation is, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. Is that it's mysterious, I guess. All right, star drop, should it go in? But what do your videos even taste like? Uh, beans. All right, congrats to Starter Up. Jar of bees. I'm not clear that this is a food, for the record. Okay, jar of bees is an active item. Spawns bees that hone in and damage enemies. 
I, I just don't think we can vote on it. I just don't know that uh, these bees should uh, be in the list of the top 10 video game foods. The M tomato from Curry, that is actually a great one. I, I have never eaten a bee, so I can't comment on the fucking... Maxim Tomato from Kirby. All right, sorry. Um, F's for B's. Objection! Look at that sad little bee. Ew, what is on it? First, this bee got ticks, and now it doesn't even get to be in the top 10 list. All right, Maxim Tomatoes from Kirby. Sometimes simply referred to as tomatoes or recovery items. They are large red tomatoes with a prominent M. Is there anything? Okay, so presentation. We know that it has an M on it. Is there anything that, anything about taste here? Taste? No. Flavor, maybe? Okay, we don't have any information about what it tastes like. Oh, here we go. Kirby just loves to eat these big, bright tomatoes. Kirby's favorite food, favorite snack. So, nothing really about taste, but we see the presentation, and that's pretty adorable. All right. Should it go in the list? Steak from Cooking Mama. Thank you, Anonymous Fear, by the way. Uh, TF2 sandwich we got in there. All right. Max and Tomato from Kirby in the list. So our list so far, just so everybody knows. Okay. The recipe you cook in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. I don't even know. I haven't. I still haven't done Dark Brotherhood quest line for some reason. Sandwich from TF2. Sweet roll from Skyrim. Cake from Minecraft. Cake from Portal. Okay. Dubious food from Zelda. To the Almighty Skyrim egg. Okay. The character Toad from Mario. Butterscotch pie from Undertale. Slowpoke's tail from Pokemon. Enchanted golden apple from Minecraft. Nuka Cola from Fallout. Star Drop from Stardew Valley. Maxim Tomato from Kirby. Man. It is going to be hard to narrow this down to just 10, actually. Um, and even then, it's going to be harder to pick. Okay, Skyrim, egg. Um, okay, presentation, fairly straightforward. It's an egg. Is there anything about taste? Nothing about taste or flavor. All right. Based on originality and flavor, should egg go in? The cubes meet from Minecraft. Oh, that, that's from Mario Party. That always did look good. Wow. I thought bees had it rough. But it turns out chickens got absolutely dunked on. 90% of people saying they're not even in the top 10. Okay, these steaks always did look pretty good. I don't know what we call it, though. Objection! Sunny D from Start. Dark Souls. Man, that sound. That sounds pretty good. What's the final dish look like? That looks pretty good. I don't know what we call it. Should the steak cube thing from Mario Party based on taste and originality? Okay. Look at that plating. Super Meat Boy. Very good call. Okay. First, we're voting on whatever this uh, thing is called. And then somebody else. Minecraft, we already have two things for Minecraft, so we can't do any more for Minecraft. 
Cuphead? Cuphead is not... Cuphead is literally a cup. Cup is not food. Okay. The st steak cube from Super Mario Party. Jar of bees. Jar of bees was <laughs> Ill, 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 Ill fated. How? A lot of people are saying Estus Flask from Dark Souls. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, that's a good one. Estus Flask, Dark Souls, and whatever. What was the other one you said? Sunny Side Up or something from Dark Souls? Sunny D from Dark Souls? I have not. I have not played much Yoshi of Dark Souls. Yoshi Cookie from Super Mario RPG. Oh, that is a good one. I got. I beat the Taurus Demon in, in Dark Souls, but I hate that game, so. Or let me rephrase that. That game tortures me in a non pleasant way. Oh, we do need something from World of Warcraft. Thank you guys for all the bits, by the way. Sorry if I'm not acknowledging every single one, but I appreciate it. Okay, Sunny, is this a mod? I assume this is a mod. This is a mod. This is not real. Well, that, we're not going to do mod stuff, because then it just opens up a whole new thing. But we can do Estus Flask. Is there, is there a precedent that Estus Flasks are food? Is there anything here that, that proves that these are food? I don't see anything. What is Estus made of? It is essentially bottled Heavy fire. Gem apples. I don't know that fire is like... I mean, we can vote on it. So, fire in a bottle from Dark Souls. It's sunny D. It's, it's never explicitly stated, so... It's theoretically food. And you refill it at bonfires. Objection! Tangy from Animal Crossing. Tangy from Animal Crossing? Is this a, is this is a cat? Wait, is it a Alright. Sorry, Estes Flask, you don't go in. I thought Estes Flask would have won, to be honest. Overwatch cereal? Is there cereal in Overwatch or is it just a merch item? Because it's got to be in. It's got to be in the thing. Is this character edible? Is there is there is there clear precedent? from Wow. Peppy cat. This is a cat. Comes from her appearance. It says she's a cat. Villagers that resemble food. I don't think, I mean, well, I'll throw the poll up, but I don't think that, uh... Is there any food in Raid Shadow Legends? Not that I know of, but we're, we're I mean, we totally can. The I Am Bread bread? Oh yeah, we can do TF2 bread. What about the Yoshi cookie, though? Yoshi cookie... I've never played this game. Oh, there's Yoshi cookies in a lot of games. Okay, this is the one from... <laughs> I don't know. This is the one from Super Mario RPG. Okay, yeah, then we gotta do World of Warcraft. Okay, sorry to the cat. Or probably congratulations to the cat. You are not um, gonna be in the list of foods. Yoshi cookie. Should Yoshi cookie go in? I'm also gonna do World of Warcraft. Boar ribs. Oh wait, no, no, beer. What is it? Beer basted. Beer basted boar ribs. Objection! Gem apples from Super Kirby Clash. Gem apples. All right. Congratulations to Objection! Yoshi Cookie. Lava cookies from Pokemon Emerald. Lava. Yoshi Cookie from Mario Games. Do you get to the dog district very often? Oh, Thank you, Blubber Lover. Saying, of course you don't. Beer Basted Boar Ribs. If you ever played World of Warcraft and you were a dwarf or a gnome, you played this quest. I think it's some, uh... Wait, hold on. Is 
set the mood. All right, beer bastard boar ribs. Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer bastard boar ribs. Okay, in terms of taste, we know that the secret is in the malt, so there's malt in this. In terms of presentation, uh, I don't know if we can really. I don't know if there's anything. I mean, that's this is the best image that we have here, right there. Presentation seems fairly basic, but that taste. Beer bash and boar rib should it go on the list from World of Warcraft. The waffle and ice cream from Cuphead. So, how? Canteen meal from Monster Hunter World. The cutscene alone is enough to get it in. Canteen meal. All right, let me let me catch up on all these first. Okay, beer bastard boar ribs are gone in. Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Dina Taka, oh, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate of course the two months. Hi, thank, Dad. Thank you, Boa Noah. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, uh, Coltrick. Thank you, Shadow Knight. Thank you, Dolphin Header. Thank you, Just a Peach. Thank you, Shadow Knight. Oh, yes. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Lucky Tiger. Another thank you, Classic Weasel. Thank you, Checkers. Yet might be the spicy curry more for its Smash Brothers annoyance than for Kirby games, though. Ooh, that is good. I mean, those that I think are from Kirby games. From World of Warcraft. Man, this is a lot. There's a lot of foods in video games. Okay, let me let's let's solve the Cuphead thing first. Cuphead is not a food, right? Um, okay, this this poll is whether Cuphead is a food. Yes, is that Cuphead is a food. No, is that Cuphead is not a food. Oh. That was really loud. Sorry, Barn. He is a food. Barn, how do you possibly justify that that fucking <laughs> cuphead is? It's literally cup. Cups are not food. I feel like it's it's the name clearly indicates that he's not a food. Sprunk from GTA. Sprunk. Oh yeah, Sprunk's pretty great. Okay, I have a couple to go through. Gem apples from Kirby. Uh, okay. Polls open. Gem apples from Kirby. I forget the name of this game. Kirby Joy Clash Deluxe. Happy few. They appear to be Kirby-sized apple apples made of crystal. Their stems are normal, but the fruit is mostly a convex polyhedron consisting of quadrilateral faces that are on the red butt up here. He drinks out of his own head. Sorry to the crystal apples. He, but he isn't a food. I mean, we we already voted. It's it's done at this point, but. He's not a food. He he puts food inside his body, but we don't eat the food. Would he be alive without the substance in the cup? Is his cup full? Cup head? Is his head full of things? I thought it was empty. Okay, let me, let me ask Google. Trash can chicken from Streets of Rage. Does Cuphead have stuff in his cup head? Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Their heads are apparently hollow vessels containing liquid. That implies... Watch some game footage. I mean, I've played it. I guess I just didn't... I never noticed that detail. Objection! I love how secretly bubbling under the surface of all of this is just the question of our drinks food. Um, Is this... What is this game? What is this from? This song. Okay, next one. Dream Lava Cookie from Pokemon. I'm not familiar with this. Do you get to the district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Type of medicine. I'm going to start to like pick up the pace a little bit so we can... Objection! Either dubious food or hearty fried greens from Breath of the Wild. We've got dubious food in there already. Uh, thank you, Sasquo. Lucky Tiger, thanks for the sub. Arbonator, thank you, man. Mug right, Man sorry, drinks his insides things. when entering battles. Mug Man drinks his insides. I mean, we voted and we said he's not a food. I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong.
But like, do you the get vote, to the Doug? The vote very indicates often. that it's not going to happen. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Damn, five months. Damn. Yeah, Dana the Baguette, thank you very much, dude. Appreciate it. All right. Um, I have not played Monster Hunter World. I've watched a little bit of it. Bonk from TF2. Oh, yeah. Bonk and bread and the steak from TF2. There's a lot of good TF2 ones. We already have sandwich in there. Okay. This is for your consideration for voting on the canteen food from Monster Hunter World. Okay. This is Hunter's Platter. Again, voting on presentation, originality, and taste. Sonic's Chili Dog. That is easily the best presentation of any food we've seen. So that was that was incredible. Hunter's Platter for Monster Hunter. Should it go in? That was Iron Chef as fuck. That that was like yeah. That was they took Iron Chef and put cats in there. I mean that was a, that was a banger. Hunter's Platter for Monster Hunter World. Congratulations. You're in there. Damn, that was a good looking dish. You know what I love about that? They like put the, they went really explicit on putting in a little sprig of whatever. Um, terraria bacon? Okay, hold on. Objection! Cause Donut Lava Cookies were awesome. Yeah. All right, we're gonna we're gonna Doug Doug's pepper. I'm not in a video game yet, Objection! so Doug Doug pepper. Uh, what is this? This might be a little too obscure, Dawson. All right, whatever this is. Uh, big Smoke's order. Should I go in? What is Big Smoke's order? Uh, okay, we also have chocolate milk, Binding of Isaac, ham shank from Don't Starve. I we, I think generally, looks like you'd love it. Mayonnaise is um, uh, the best. Horo snacks from League of Legends. That was a pretty good one. Right, wait, hold on. Legends of Terra probably has better art. Objection! Ooh, that does Crispy look pretty good. Crispy Zeus Cures from Final Fantasy XV. Crispy Zeus Cures. Alright, whatever the mayo thing is. Big mayo sandwich from that mayo sandwich video what is the name of it pop something burger from that burger mayo video you got it okay we're gonna we're gonna do some rapid fire sprunk from gta 5 sprunk is the like sprite parody uh they have it all over the place there's a bunch of like vending machines and everything everywhere Again, you're judging on originality and what you think the taste is. Should Sprunk... Should we put Sprunk all over this list? Oh, Lon Lon Milk. Yeah, we gotta do Lon Lon Milk, man. Okay. Uh, sorry to Sprunk. Next time, Sprunk. You'll get him next time. Okay, Sprunk's not in there. Terraria Bacon. 
Terraria bacon, shit a go in. Consumable food item, naturally dropped by slain pigrons. I apparently had not played that much Terraria because I never saw a pigron. Presentation seems fairly straightforward, just looks like a piece of bacon. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything about taste. I don't see any indications about taste and originality slash plating. Once again, we're using Iron Chef rules for the judgment. Half the points for taste, or what you imagine the taste to be, and half the points for originality. Objection! All right, sorry to Terry Megan. wasn't food, but Lon Lon Milk is. Lon Lon Milk is, Cuphead refers to the cup character. Lon, I mean, we'll vote on it. Maybe people will agree that Lon Lon Milk Objection! is. Lon Lon Milk pretty clearly implies is the, the thing cake inside. on the list yet? Portal Cake is on the list. Chocolate Milk from Binding of Isaac. Have not played much Binding of Isaac. Uh, is there anything about taste here? Anything about the flavor of these chocolate milk tears? Uh, okay. Well, let's crush it out. Chocolate milk from Binding of Isaac. Should it go in the list? Man, Poro Snacks is looking pretty good. I gotta play Legends of Terra. I have not done that yet. Um, because I'm not very good at, uh, freaking. What's its face? Card games. Not good at card games. Okay, sorry. Chocolate milk for Binding of Isaac. Poro Snacks from Legend of Runeterra. Legends of Runeterra. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Again, taste and presentation. Poro Snacks from League of Legends and Legends of Runeterra. Should it go in? Is there anything about taste? Okay, we got a little bit of lot. They gobble them up, then look at you, tongues out. Happy as sheared nucks in the thaw, asking for more. You try saying no. That's all we know about the flavor. A lot implied here. Yeah, okay. Boom. Poro snacks from League of Legends. Congrats. Crispy Zoo Skewers. I have not played Final Fantasy XV. This, this stream is showing me how many video games I haven't played. Okay, it's made out of zoo tender and fine clean wheat. Is there image? Okay, that. I don't see anything about the f flavor, but that guy looks fresh as hell. Do you get to the Doug. district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Should Crispy hey, Zuskers go in? What's up, KTG? Thank you very much for seven months. That's crazy. Uh, all right, let's do like let's do like five more, and then we'll start to wrap it up. There's probably ones where a lot of people want Big Smoke. What is Big Smoke's order? I don't know what that is. I mean, I'll just Google it, but... Super spicy curry from Smash and Curly. I have not played this game. All right, congrats to... Crispy Zeus yours. Um, big smoke Objection! order. Smash milk from Smash Brothers. Can I take your order, please? Carl, what do you want? You gotta eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Give me a number nine, just like his. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large. A number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soap. Okay. Is that considered a food? Up to this point, we've kind of had like one dish. I guess that is a dish, but is that really like a, is that a food video game? I'm not sure. 
Yeah, Danky, please. Uh, cool, man. Um, I mean, your guys' choice. So this would be the entirety of this meal consider, considered as a, as a single food. Boom. Should have gone on the list. Yes or no? All right, let's do... We'll do a couple more after this. Big Smoke's order. Should have gone on the list. I mean, it's pretty great. Objection! Pretty great order. Yo, how about a platter from Monster Hunter? We just got Hunter's platter. Actually, right, right, right there. Up there. All right, Big Smoke's order. Order from GTA San Andreas. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna... Lawn Lawn Milk. Lawn Lawn Milk from Zelda. Should it go in? Delicious drink. We know that it's delicious with nutritious healing properties produced by Lawn Lawn Ranch. Presentation. I could go either way. Does have a cow on it, you know. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else about taste. Okay. Sweet. Lawn Lawn Milk is in. Okay, are there any... Uh, how about this? There are a whole lot of really obscure suggestions right now in chat. Are there any really big video game franchises or really obvious foods that we definitely should at least consider? Spicy Curry Smash, I think, is one. Let's, let's consider five more. Picking, like, very obscure games are ones that people don't really care about. They, it's not going to make the top ten, right? Like, let's... Let's let's pare it down. Lunching Kingdom. I don't know that this is actually entirely edible. I don't know that this would be considered a food. Candy Crush. World. Uh, again, maybe edible. Not not clear though. Uh, we'll run through these real fast though. The pancakes from Galaxy Two. What? Mario Galaxy Two. What? Where are their pancakes? This? It's too, it's, it's too obscure. It's too obscure. Oh yeah, okay, monster, yeah. Monster <laughs> from Death monster Stranding. Monster Energy from Death Stranding. Okay, that's an obvious one. Um, we already have done Estes Flask, we've already done, uh, we've done Mushroom. Uh, the Spider-Man 2 pizza. I don't know if he actually delivers it, though. Skagged tongue. Is that, like... Do you do the canteen meals? Yes. Baked apple from Zelda. I don't think baked apple is going to go in. Oh, yeah, Pac-Man dots. Korok seeds are literally poop. They're not food. Bonk. Cake from Portal we already have. Oh yeah, Monster Cake from Breath of the Wild. Big one. At, at this point, we have very strong contenders, so we only need suggestions that like actually have a chance of of you know contending with the top ten. Pizza from TM Menti. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that is, like, obviously, obviously needs to be in there. Otherwise, we're probably going to have to... 7-Up from Cool Spot to wash it all down. Chili Dog from Sonic. I don't even know what that is. Oops. Do you, do you mean from Sonic the Drive-In or from Sonic... <laughs> then... When does he get Chili Dogs? Objection! This is disgusting. Fortnite is this real? Slip juice. Okay, I'm gonna pick one more, and then these are the final votes for what go in. Um, sweet rolls already in there. Bananas from Breath of the Wild. It's just it's, there's no way it's gonna it's gonna win. Um. Monster Tire from Dead Star, Pac Man Cherry. Oh, yeah, we do have Pac Man Cherry. 
Please do not let a Fortnite drink win this. We love Fortnite, though. Heavy sandwich we already got. Okay, I'll just... How do you know so little about food and video games? Well, because Sonic video games suck. And it's not worth playing them. So I, I haven't. Red Bull from PUBG? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, sorry to all the suggestions I left out. They are forever uh, gone and lost in the abyss. This way we have both Monster from Death Stranding. All right, there's like 10 in a row here we're gonna do. We're gonna knock these out real fast. Ready, set, go. Super Spice Curry from Super Smash Bros. If you eat this, you start spitting fire. Uh, do we know anything about Presentation, literally on fire, not bad. Do we know anything about the taste? Anything about taste? No information about taste. Should it go in? Again, half on originality and presentation. Half on taste. Okay, spicy curry. Don't it. No, 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 oh, thank God. The entirety of the Luncheon Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey, which I don't, I don't think is edible. Like these are just walls, but I, I leave it in your hands. The entire the of the Luncheon Kingdom. That. That is a no. Sorry, Mario Odyssey. But what about the entirety of Candy Crush? Should all of Candy Crush... Sorry, Candy Crush. Okay. Monster Energy Drink from Death Stranding. Which is like literally just monster. Like for your consideration, Monster Death Stranding. He literally drinks just like. Uh. Is this just like a clip? Okay. Did you know that the wrong mattress protector can ruin the feel of your mattress? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's so detailed. <laughs> okay. Monster energy drink. Um, from Death Stranding. The good news is that you definitely know what it tastes like. But presentation is the other half. All right, congratulations to Monster. It'd be very funny to me if Monster, a real life food that was exactly recreated in a video game, wins the best tasting video game food. But all right, the real question though, if Monster is in, is Red Bull from PUBG in? Originally, it looked like a Red Bull can. It looks like this in the game. I think it said Hot Bowl, but it was like very clearly a Red Bull can. One or two should Red Bull go into the list. All right, Red Bull from PUBG is not in the list. I have a friend who works at Red Bull and he was just giving me shit yesterday about how in that ketchup trial video, I chug a monster at the beginning. Um, so this is great that we've knocked Red Bull out of contention and real life monsters going in. All right, Skag Tongue from Borderlands. Should it go in? I don't know how to verify the taste of this. Um, Do you get to the cook? Oh, it's very often. Oh, what? Ultra Fork. 
terrible name, but thank you, man. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, sorry, Skagcon. Okay, Pac-Man Dots. Pack dots, also known as pellets or cookies, are easily the most common item. In the arcade version, they're small white dots. Pac-Man is able to eat many of these at a time. Okay, we know that Pac-Man eats them. In Pac-Man World, pack dots are used as a currency of some sort. Okay, so in this game, they're collected and put into a machine, which maybe implies that they're not food. Cookies are an item. So sometimes they're referred to as cookie. It looks like it's maybe not consistent. Um, what do Pac-Man dots taste like? Is there any canon about... This is a Kotaku article. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. This is, this is important. This is important. This is important. During the QA session at a... At, okay, during a QA session of the upcoming Pac-Man game, Pac-Man of Ghost Adventures 2... Polygon asked director Kunido Komori that very important question, what do, the, what do ghosts taste like? Wait, no, that's about ghosts. Okay, the ghosts taste pretty bad. No, no, we need to know about the pellets. God damn it. Oh, okay, that's not helpful at all. All right, well, uh, based on presentation and taste, are the Pac-Man pellets one of the best foods? In video games. We are not only saying, are they one of the best foods? It's whether or not they are food. I don't know. I would... I mean, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. My, my sense is that they would not be qualified as food, but... Why do you think Pac-Man wants it so much? I mean... The world of Pac-Man doesn't seem to have a whole lot of logic. I don't think that that's the only explanation. All right. Pac-Man pellets are just barely in the list. Do white dots <laughs> from Pac-Man. All right. Bonk from TF2. This is an item for the Scout, which you drink and it becomes makes you invulnerable for a short period of time. Um, do we know anything about the taste? Taste, 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 taste. Mm, taste? Flavor? Okay, I don't think we know anything about the taste or flavor. We do know the presentation, which is the, that okay. it's, uh, it's a little can. Have you played Cool Spot, Doug? It was a pretty good platformer made by the people behind 7up. I have not. I have not played Cool Spot. Bonkatonic Punch from TF2. Oh, I've seen this game. I might have played it a little bit as a kid. Not Certainly not in recent memory. I definitely remember the look of it. All right, Bonk from TF2. All of the ones that are like 55% are definitely going to get eliminated, but... Okay. Monster Cake from Breath of the Wild. Well, that's not real. We need the actual game. Okay, Monster Cake. Do we know anything about the taste? It's said once you have a taste of this cake, you'll never forget its sweetness. Okay, bit of interesting information there. And then the actual icon of the monster cake, we've seen the presentation. A little small. Monster cake from Breath of the Wild, should it go in? Don't we already have two TF2 items? I thought we only had one. We have Bonk. Yeah, that's the second one. Bonk and then Sandwich. Okay, monster cake, Breath of the Wild. The pizza from... Here, I'll play the right music for this. This is the pizza from the Super Nintendo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Should it go in? I think we can generally guess what pizza would taste like. Thank you for the water. Alright, we're almost there. Chili Dog from Sonic. Sonic 
Sonic's favorite, a Jumbo Frank slathered with spicy chili. Okay, we know it's his favorite. We know it's spice. Um, it's covered with chili served in a bun and topped with some sort of meat sauce with chopped onions and a spicy known as spicy substance known as jalapeno chili. Okay, it looks like they change very slightly. And I don't see too much. Okay, looks like the presentation changes. So it's up to you to um, make a. Wait, what was the one I just we just voted on? Oh yeah, pizza. Okay, this one is for Chili Dog from Sonic. What do you got? Congratulations to Chili Dog. Not a Rachel Mod? Yeah, it's literally not. It's just a chili dog. I mean, it's going to get a lot tighter in a sec because we're going to vote these down to just the top 10. Okay. Last two. No, last one. Slurp juice from Fortnite. Do we know anything about the taste of slurp juice? There are many Easter eggs in the game which suggest that slurp juice is made from toxic waste. Um, is slurp juice one of the best foods in video games? Man, you guys hate slurp juice almost as much as you hate bees. Voting twice does not do anything. <laughs> All right. Guys, please stop spamming too. All right, y'all. Here is our list from top to bottom. What are the... The top 10 game, sorry, foods in video games. Sandwich from TF2 is number one. Sweet Roll from Skyrim, number two. Cake from Minecraft. Cake from Portal. Dubious Food from Zelda. Toad from Mario. Like the entire character Toad. He's a mushroom. Butterscotch Pie from Undertale. Slowpoke's Tail from Pokemon, which is actually an edible thing. Enchanted Old Golden Apple from Minecraft. Nuka Cola from Fallout. Star Drop from Stardew Valley. Max and Tomato from Kirby. Steak Cube from that Super Mario Marty. Super Mario Party minigame. Yoshi Cookie from the Mario games. Beer Bastard Boar Ribs from World of Warcraft. Hunter's Platter from Monster Hunter World. Big Mayo Sandwich from that Burger Mayo thing. Poro Snacks from League of Legends. Crispy Zoo Skewers from Final Fantasy XV. Big Smokes Order from GTA San Andreas. Lawn Lawn Milk from Ocarina of Time. Spicy Curry from Super Smash Bros. Monster Energy Drink from Death Stranding. White Dots from Pat Man. Bonk from TF2. Monster Cake from Breath of the Wild. Pizza from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Chili Dog from Sonic. Boom. The poll is now live. Vote for as many as you want. This is just to decide the top 10. Boom. Vote for as many as you would like, and whichever foods are in the top 10, we will then vote those down into the number one. Yo, Christian, man, thank you. Do you get me? I appreciate, appreciate it. Very often. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Keep it up, love your content. All right, while you guys vote, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Again, vote as on many as you want.
All right, let's check the results. Cake from Portal 2 at number one. Toad from Mario, number two. Sweet, again, not the final listing. This is just for what we are going to vote on. Again, there's the poll. Get your vote. Last vote's in right now. I'm going to close this in 10 seconds, and then we'll have the final, we'll have the top 10, and we'll vote on the ranking of the top 10. All you're voting on right now is who you think should be in this top 10 vote. That's it. Currently, the leaders, Cake, Toad, Sweet Roll, Big Smokes, Order, Nuke, Cola, Chanted, Golden Apple, Sandwich, Cake from Minecraft, Slowpoke's Tail, Hunter's Platter, Monster Cake. Monster Energy Drink, I think, is number 11, and just bite, just might miss out. All right, I'm going to close this in five, four, three, two. Get that monster energy. One. All right. Votes are closing. One vote away from top ten. I'll, I'll refresh it in a sec. Once I refresh, that's it. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, congratulations to our, our, our finalists. Cake from Portal 2, Toad, Sweet Roll, Big Smokes Order, Nuka Cola, Enchanted Golden Apple, Sandwich, Cake from Minecraft, Slowpoke's Tail, and Butterscotch Pie. Wait. Hold on. This has 126. Did it just update? Is it updating live? Looks like 100. I mean, I'm going to go off the, vo the votes. Why didn't it order? Well, sorry, Butterscotch Pie. You got uh, fucking roasted, dude. Uh, okay. Sorry to Butterscotch Pie. Sorry to Monster Energy Drink. Sorry to Monster Cake from Breath of the Wild. Chili Dog from Sonic. Pizza from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Lawn Lawn Milk. Spicy Curry from Smash Bros. The Dots from Pac-Man, which are maybe food. Dubious Food from Zelda. Steak Cube from the Super Mario Party minigame. Star Drop from Stardew Valley. Maxim Tomato. Bonk from TF2. That Big Mayo Sandwich. Yoshi Cookie. Poro Snacks, Beer Basted Boar Ribs, Crispy Zoo Skewers. Hey, you had a good run. You had a good run. Give it up for all those foods which were in the list. Refra oh, got it, got it. Well, so what's the, what's the total right now? Yeah, I'm going to go with Hunter's Platter. Hunter's Platter is, is higher, right? Okay. We've got our top ten. Whoa, that's loud. Okay, all right, all right. So we're now going to move these. Yo, thank you, Tom, huh? What's up, y'all? We're now going to move these into Photoshop, and we're going to start voting on the order. Because all this rep this didn't represent the highest number yet. This just represented what people felt like should be in the list. Okay. We're gonna vote and eliminate our top 10 one at a time. That's how it's going to work. We're going to start with 10 and eliminate them one by one until we know the best video game food of all time forever. Thank you, Kirby Games. Thanks again, Tama. Cake. Uh, let me just copy these over. Cake from Port. Toad from Mario. Sweet Roll from Skyrim. Big Smoke's Order. Nuka Cola from Fallout. Enchanted Golden Apple from Minecraft. Sandwich from TF2. Cake from Minecraft. Slowpoke's Tail. And Hunter's platter, which just narrowly beat out Undertale. Okay, these are our ten. To be very clear, you are now voting on which one of these you want to eliminate. 
Thank you, Ender Spider. Damn right I'll wear a Waluigi hat. The votes are now open. Let me uh, let me shrink this a bit. Oh god, no no no, wrong thing. There we go. You are voting on which game, uh, which food to eliminate first. Hunter's Platter for Monster Hunter World. You had a great run, but unfortunately, you're at the end of the, end of the line. I think the first couple of these are just going to go in order of what they were voted on, but it's going to get harder once we're a little higher up. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? It's going to be slightly slower. Objection! Shout out to all the people who I feel literally voted for 10th on the list. Where's that insane? This, this this list is going to get a little messy. That's okay. All right. Now, I eliminate Hunter's Platter, and we are voting on what is the ninth best food. The votes are now open. Number one is cake. Number two is Toad from Mario. Number three, Sweet Roll. Big Smokes Order, four. Nuka Cola, five. Enchanted Golden Apple, six. Sandwich, seven. Cake, eight. Slowpoke's Tail, nine. Whichever gets the most votes is eliminated and is only the ninth best food in all of video games. Right now, it looks like a close race between Toad and Slowpoke's Tail. Fuck. Let me get him ready. Wait, is there, is there an icon for Slowpoke's Tail? All right, Slowpoke's Tail. Hey, you had a good run, but you are the ninth best food in all the video games. And, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna just take this image. It's a little uh, morbid. a little bit of a stroke. Oh, too much. Alright. No time for mourning because we have to decide the eighth best food in all video games. Don't just vote in order. I mean, the first couple are gonna go in order, right? Because there's there's a clear there's a clear uh, outliers, right? But it's gonna start to get serious very soon. This is gonna start to get much more competitive very soon. What is the eighth best video game food? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I forgot to change the title, which is kind of important. Otherwise, it's confusing. Okay. What is the eighth best food? Number one is cake. Number two is toad from, from Mario. Number three is sweet roll. Number four is big smokes order. Number five, Nuka Cola. Number six, Enchanted Golden Apple. Number seven, sandwich. Number eight, cake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
I'm very sorry to announce that Toad from Mario is only the eighth best video game in all of food. was a good mushroom creature. This is a uh, a huge upset because Toad got second place in the initial eligibility votes and is now eliminated at only seventh or eighth, whatever it was. Okay. What is the seventh best food in video games? You have cake from Portal, sweet roll from Skyrim, three uh, Big Smokes Order from GTA San Andreas, Nuka Cola from Fallout, Enchanted Gold Apple from Minecraft, Sandwich from TF2, and cake from Minecraft. You are voting on who to eliminate next. Currently votes. Seem to be going between Nuka Cola, Big Smokes Order, and Sandwich from TF2, with Sandwich having a narrow lead right now. Alright. Smokes holds out for another round. And Sandwich from TF2 is eliminated. Why are all these options so terrible? Y'all voted on it. All right. What is the sixth best food in video games? Votes are now open. You've got Cake from Portal, Sweet Roll from Skyrim, Big Smokes Order from GTA San Andreas, Nuka Cola from Fallout, Enchanted Golden Apple from Minecraft, and Cake from Minecraft. Well, I don't like to be overly dramatic, but this is literally the worst thing that anybody has ever done uh, on this stream in the last five minutes. Big Smoke's order has been eliminated as only the sixth best food in all of video games. You know what that means? It's time oh, yeah. for the top five. Who made the axe? We're down to cake from Portal, sweet roll from Skyrim, Nuka Cola from Fallout, Enchanted Golden Apple from Minecraft, and cake from Minecraft. Votes are now open. 
Meanwhile, look at the graveyard of the of the foods that you put to rest. Oh, they misunderstood my very clear instructions. Yeah. I mean, Barn, you've said that literally every single time we've done this. But maybe maybe this time it was because I wasn't clear. Okay, cake. Cake and Nuka-Cola are neck and neck right now. This could go either way. I'm going to let it get to, let's say, 10 more seconds. 10. 9. 8. This could go either way. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, one, and Nuka Cola gets eliminated just barely with Cake from Minecraft holding out for yet another round of food. Nuka Cola, you have been eaten. War. War never changes. The number five. Pretty good. Pretty good. You on the boats at a specific time? Eh. I'll try it. What is the fourth best food in video games? Cake from Portal 2, Sweet Roll from Skyrim, Enchanted Golden Apple from Minecraft, and Cake from Minecraft. Let the votes go until... You forget Dubious Food? I don't think it got added into the list. One minute is up. Cake from Minecraft has been eliminated. Objection! Chat, if you have any sensibility, let Portal Cake win. From, from these remaining three votes, I will let it go up until it hits one minute. Once the vote has been live for one minute and you can see the timer, then it will close. Number four, Cake from Minecraft. It's delicious but not delicious enough to work. All right. We're getting very close. All three of these could win. Easily. Easily. Your options now. Portal cake. Minecraft cake. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry. Portal Cake. Minecraft Golden Enchanted Apple and Skyrim Sweet Roll. I see the song request. I'll get it uh, a little bit later. What is the third best food in video games? Is Minecraft about to be eliminated? Is Minecraft about to be double eliminated? I think I speak for everyone here when I say fuck. Are you gonna 
spit on Notch's grave like that? Closing it at one minute. You have 25 more seconds if you want to save the enchanted golden apple. One minute is up. Objection! I'll take the air, my god. In one fell swoop. Te technically two. In one fell double swoop. Minecraft has been eliminated from the votes. Enchanted Golden Apple, you are the third best food in all of video games. to see it. Two in a row. All right. I think the only way that we can end this one is uh, with the Skyrim theme. I'm going to have to turn this one up pretty loud. Number 10. The Hunter's Platter from Monster Hunter World. Number 2. 9. Slowpoke's Tale from Pokemon. Number 8 was Toad from Mario. 7. Final Sandwich from CF2. The most sensible of all choices. Big Smoke's Order was number 6. Nuka Cola was 5. Cake from Minecraft was 4. Enchanted Golden Nine Apple from Minecraft was 3. But now we are voting on the best video game food ever. You are voting on number one. This is not elimination, you're voting on number one. What is the best food in video games? Cake from Portal or Sweet Roll from Skyrim? You're voting on number one. In three, two, one, Live. What is the best food in video games? This is fairly close. This could go either way. It's only a few votes off on either direction. We're going up to a minute. We have 45 more seconds. Pokemon Rumble is the best food. Pokemon Rumble always wins. It's the default victory. Which is number one? Cake from Portal 2 with a lead. This could still change. You've got 25 more seconds to get your votes in, and then it's done forever. One minute is up. Okay, I'm giving it 10 more seconds. 10. As soon as the song drops, as soon as the song drops, I click. This could go either way. It's 50-50. It's 50-50. As soon as the song drops, we're going. It's literally 50-50. Three, two, one. It's the sweet roll from Skyrim. At the very end, comes back with 285. Sweet roll does it. Oh. Sweet roll Dragonborn wins. We're all in on Sweet Roll! Get to the top! Ladies and gentlemen, I present the best food! In all of video games, forever. Objection! Todd Howard confirmed Master Chef 2020.
It's beautiful. Objection! You literally delayed the vote for Sweet Troll to win rigged as shit. No, it got close. So then I gave it 10 more seconds. I did not say to vote one way or the other. That would be rigged. And even if it is rigged, eh, fuck it. I have no skin either way. These are both great foods. I have no bias here. Portal was still winning after 10 seconds rigged. It was like 50-50 right as I was clicking. What the hell is the... There we go. Okay, I'm trying to order these. There we go. Alright. The official list right here number 10 monster hunter platter number nine slowpoke's tail number eight the character toad number seven the sandwich from tf2 number six big smokes order number five nuka cola number four cake from minecraft number three enchanted golden apple from minecraft number two cake from portal and number one is the sweet roll from skyrim yes water thank you The real friends, the real winner is the friends we ate along the way. We ate a lot of people. Well, let's, uh, let's export this. Let's get this to the people. Do I have Twitter up? I do not once When are you going to have Twitch chat versus Doug Pokemon Rumble? Three. <laughs> I, we do have to do that. It's a good call. Objection! Why does it not say from the ninth in first place? What? You look like my English teacher, but less overweight. I am your English teacher. Doesn't say from on night. What? I don't understand. We did it. Don't say from. Oh, eh. Oh, well. I'll probably get fired for this. It's just another example of um, this being rigged, I guess. It says poke. Eh, whatever. Something tells me that's not going to be too big of a deal with whoever looks at this, which is probably just you guys. All right, we did it. We can finally stop this contentious debate. Thank you, everybody, for helping us determine the official top 10 video games. Uh, can we just do a poll of all 10 to see who's best? That's literally what we did. That's what's been happening for two hours now. Have you watched any of what's happened? Uh, okay, now we're going to do a... Toad would win. We we did both of those things. We pulled all of them, and then we, we pulled them one by one. You mean all ten at once, but we basically did that with the, the straw poll. Right, song request, yes, thank you. Sats, thank you for the song request, dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some rival music, down for that. All right, so the other, uh, that's like the first part of today's stream. Thanks for watching. It was more than ten. Ten is the perfect number from Toad to win. All right. Uh, okay, quick...
Quick revote. It's two! Total all day, baby! Woo! Congrats, Toad. Um. Okay, let me set up the next thing real quick. God, Toad is is so great. Everybody loves Toad. <laughs> um, all right. So for for the other part of today's stream, let me actually. Uh, I want to try something today. This will probably not work that great, but we're gonna try it. So the gen the gist of this is it's um we're gonna do battle bets. Except that it's gonna be how fast can I find a McDonald's on Google Maps? We're gonna pick a random spot in the United States, zoom way in, and then see if we can find a McDonald's. So let me let me change the stream title. I call it a Google Maps uh, speedrun, I guess. Objection! I like to imagine that in Mario Terese, no sirens on police cars, the Toad police just scream, <laughs> and that's their siren. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so we'll, we're gonna do betting on this, by the way. So you guys will bet on how long you think it'll take me. song is so good. Wait, what are we doing? Uh, this is a test. We'll, we'll see. Okay, bet on how long it will take Doug to find a specific location. Should we do a Wikipedia Hitler speedrun battle? Oh yeah, I've seen the Wikipedia ones. Yeah, I want to try a Wikipedia speedrun at some point. Uh, this song is Guilty Gear, Unidentified Child. One sec. No, I think it'll be doable. Oh wait. Alright, give me a sec. I'm just going to set up... Um, All right, for anybody that doesn't know how betting works. I'm gonna hand out spoons before every single round. And then you're gonna bet on how long you think it's gonna take me to find a McDonald's. So the way, that, the way I'm gonna do this. All right, so everybody has 100 spoons, everybody. Um, first let's pick a spot. I don't, I live in California. I've lived in California my whole life, except for that one time I went to Nepal, but mostly Cal I've either lived in California or Nepal, not anywhere here in the middle of the map, right? I don't know anything about the middle of the this country. This is guess, guess where the McDonald's is. Yeah, basically. I don't know anything about the East Coast. So a little bit of context for me. I am not, I am not familiar with the layout of the, of the country, really. I certainly don't know where like major cities are, but how we're gonna, and this is a bit of a test, right? Um, we're gonna have to play around with this format a bit. I went to, I lived in Nepal for three months, so not really, but, but it was there for like a substantial period. Anyway, the point being, those are the only two places I've lived for more than, you know, a vacation. So I'm gonna pick a spot. Right now, let's just say the middle of the country. I'm just gonna go on the United States. I'm gonna zoom in slowly right do now. You get to you the guys should district do, very often. Autumn Day, oh, what am I machine. saying? Of course you don't. What you guys should do is pay attention to what you see and what I might see as I zoom in. 
Okay, I see a city to my left. And I'm gonna zoom way the fuck in. Okay. We're starting here. In the middle of three states. In the middle of the country. I am not able to zoom out at all from here. I have to stay within this level of zoom and I have to try to find a McDonald's. You guys are betting on how long it will take me to find a McDonald's. Let's say zero to 30 seconds. Uh, 31 to 60 seconds. 61 to 90. Nine, how, I don't know how... I thought you were just going to do street view. Oh, no, that would take forever. Because it's really slow to, like... We'd try it. This is mostly a test. What made you come up with this? I don't know. But it, this seems fair, right? We could try street view at some point. We, we, we can experiment with it. I tried Google Earth, but it's too slow. Maps is a lot better. Um, okay, we'll do... And then we'll do 91 to 120 seconds, and then it's, like, two minutes over two minutes. When, when I was testing this, it was usually between, I tried like three different ones. It was usually between like 30 seconds and two minutes. Um, but I don't know with this location at all. I have no idea where this is. Water? I thought I got the water. Oh, it's another water. Yo, Fossil Ready, thank you, by the way. Checkers, thank you. Crafted, thank you. How long would it take to cross the U.S. by Street View? I have no idea. It's a really good question, though. Okay. Uh, bets are now open. I'm in the middle of the United States, zoomed in pretty goddamn far. How long is it going to take me to find McDonald's? Bets are now open. Option one is that you think I'm going to find a McDonald's within 30 seconds. Option two is within 30 to 60 seconds. Option three is 61 to 90, so about a minute and a half. Option four is 90 to 120 seconds. And option five is you think it's over two minutes. We might have to adjust the betting categories as this goes on because, you know, we're learning. To bet, as Barn just put in the poll... Type exclamation mark, bets, with an S. Make sure you add an S. It's a little tricky. I don't know why they do that. But exclamation mark, bets. Then the spoons that you want to bet, and then the option. You can bet on multiple options, so feel free to, to split your spoons amongst multiple, if you would like. Um, my general strategy is going to be to try to find a highway. I assume that that's the, a reasonable thing to do here. All right, I'm closing the bets in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, closing. All right, this is a nice, even split. <laughs> now let's find a fucking McDonald's in three, two, one. Uh, okay. I'm gonna look for a freeway. Okay, road. I'm following this road. Uh, timer's on, right? Okay. Where is a freeway? Okay, I know that there's a city somewhere to the left, but I, I just have to, like, shoot down. Okay, freeway, freeway. U.S. Highway 385, sure. Okay, we'll follow this south. This would go, like, wait, 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 maybe here? No, 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 it's too small. Too small. Oh, man. 30 seconds. How are there no McDonald's yet? How are there no McDonald's yet? Okay, this has got to go into a city though, right? Uh, no, that's a river. Okay. Dude, where is this? I'm like trying to zoom as fast as I can. How? Okay, alright, these merge. So, this has to come to a city soon, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, out back, naughty food, naughty food. I'm ready on the time. Granary? Uh, no. Okay, no. That's a gas station. Dude, where's a city? Even just like a road stop would be fine. Okay, here? No? 127? God, dude, this is a long time. Okay, okay. 
Uh, that's a church. Okay. Postal service. No. No. What is, what is this place? I don't know. Where are we? Where, where the fuck are we? Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, fire hall. Can I get it in the next 10 seconds? Dude. How is there not a McDonald's? Did I, like, go the wrong direction? Okay. Okay, okay. Dude, I, there's no civilization. All right, it's over two minutes. I mean, I'm still going to try to find it. How is it this hard to find a, a McDonald's? None of the other... I've never been over two minutes in the three times I tried this. I think I'm just... I picked, like, a really obscure... Uh, starting location. Maybe they're, are they just like not McDonald's in the middle of the United States? That doesn't make sense though. There should be more McDonald's in the middle of the United States. Okay, this is a racetrack. Dude, where the hell am I? Like, generally. Went fair? Okay. Uh, this is a town. This is a town. This is a town. There's gotta be one in, in a town. Uh, there's... Dude, are there just not McDonald's in wherever I am? Man. Can't believe these people don't have McDonald's here. Well, I might just give up at this point. Okay, where am I? <laughs> oh, I was close! I almost got to Denver! Shit! Man, okay, so if I had gone up here to Denver, I'm sure I would have hit it pretty soon. So then I'm zoomed in. Once we're in Denver, Chipotle, Panera Bread, Guadalupe, McDonald's. I mean, I cheated, but four minutes. Man, okay, it's a little harder than, uh, than I thought when you start in the middle. Congratulations to option five. You start at Meadow, South Dakota. I mean, I guess. I can pick random locations from this point. How about, okay, how about I try one that's not quite as in the middle? So I'll do it like here. So I know that, so everybody sees it. I'm on the Mississippi River. I'm near the top and I'm near, I'm in the middle of Minneapolis and, Ch and Milwaukee. So I could head right to Madison or Milwaukee or Northwest. Um, I feel like this is, this is reasonable, right? I feel like this should be a lot faster because I know that there's cities nearby. Okay, everybody gets 150 spins. All right, we'll do 200. I'll crank it up a lot now that it's tested. I think that's an anomaly. At one point, can you try Street View? Yeah, yeah. Let me do like two more normal ones or of this version. Okay, bets are open. How long for me to find a McDonald's starting on the Mississippi River? Option one, zero to 30 seconds. Option two... 31 to 60 option th I'm gonna go east I'm gonna head east and go for Madison in Mill um, or in Wisconsin try Starbucks in New York City I have that down yeah I have Starbucks and pizza places in New York City but for New York I want to do like I have to find like five you know do you get to the Doug. district very often oh what am I saying of course you don't thank you B2P appreciate it man Uh, righty. Okay, let's close bets. Most people saying between one and two minutes, which I think is probably reasonable, but I would not be surprised if I just like crush one out real fast because it is near the Mississippi River, so there's going to be like, you know, more people. Mario Kart! Okay, hey! bets are closed. I'm starting in... Oh, whoops. Three, two, one. Oh, it like zoomed out for some reason. So I got to zoom in more. I'm like way zoomed out. Sorry, I gotta zoom in a bit. Otherwise, I'm not gonna see McDonald's. Okay, I'm just shooting down towards. Oh, oh, oh! No, no McDonald's. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna follow the freeway. I don't know if I'm too. 
this is like a tiny town. St. Phil's Church. I, I forget where. I'm, not, I'm just going. I'm going east. Oh, 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 oh. Mel's. No, no, no. Okay, here, here, here. This is a town. Where's a McDonald's? Dude. How do they not have McDonald's there? I'm just going east. If I hit the lake, then I can turn around and go to Milwaukee. Okay. Okay. Dude, where is McDonald's? Okay. I, have, I assume I go north, right? Where, the, where am I? Zoom more in? Okay. We'll, we'll say that I can zoom in, but not out. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Freeway, freeway, freeway. Double freeway. This has to go... Okay. McDonald's! Time! 120! Follow McDonald's, the highway. Yeah, I wanted to do that, but... Is that zoomed in all the way? This is zoomed in all the way. All right, so, oh, congratulations to option three. Great job. All right, 250 minutes. Um, how about this? Because like I said, we're still sort of uh, testing this, this concept. How about I start kind of zoom, like mid-level zoom, and I'm allowed to zoom in over the course of the thing, but I'm not allowed to zoom out. Right, so I'm still pretty zoomed in to start, and then I can commit to an area by pushing way in, but then it's high risk because if I don't find a McDonald's there, then I'm screwed because it's going to take me forever to go find somewhere else. I f feel like that'll work. Does zooming it so the more zoomed in you are, the more places you're going to see. So it's possible, yeah. Once I zoom in, I can't. I'm only allowed to zoom in basically. Meadow, South Dakota is the furthest point from any McDonald's. <laughs> All right, let me do that one a little bit later when it's so it's like harder. Okay, let me pick a new spot. I, I want to start with ones that are like kind of near McDonald's. Uh, how about how about like right in the middle of Texas? Here. Okay, I'm gonna start at this level of uh, this level of zoom. I'm in the middle of Texas. I'm probably gonna go northeast and just follow the route the road up. Just head southeast. Well, I figure I'll follow the freeway. Okay. How long is it going to take me to find a McDonald's? Bets are now open. Follow the obesity rates. This is... So, te actually, Texas I've been to quite a bit, but not, like, the middle of Texas. The thing is, I mean, they have a lot of, like, fast food and stuff, but they also have a lot of variations on food, you know, that aren't just McDonald's. Like, I, my guess is that Texas has fewer McDonald's per capita than other states, even though, even though the stereotype is that they would have lots of. All right, closing the bets in five, four. This one could be really, really fast. I don't actually know. Two, one. Close them. You live in Texas? Nice. My family lives in Texas. I love Texas. I'm just not familiar with like the quantity of McDonald's. See, my logic here is that when I go to Texas, there's bets are closed. There's like a million good food options. So my assumption is that people don't go to a ton of McDonald's because there's really, really, really good local places. Well, there are multiple McDonald's in Texas. Yes. I'm not, I'm not arguing with that. All right. How long is it going to take me to find a McDonald's? I'm going to go I'm going to go northeast and just follow the highway. 3 2 1 Oh, it like zoom me out. Okay, I cannot zoom in anymore. Or sorry. I am only allowed to zoom in. Those are our rules. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm worried it's going to skip McDonald's if I'm too zoomed out. Man, maybe I should have gone east. I feel like they should be along the the Wait, wait, here? No. Uh, nope. Water Supply Corporation. Okay. Uh. The town. 
I don't see one. God damn it. Uh, barbecue, barbecue. These are all local barbecues. This is what I was saying. There's no McDonald's. Texas, where are your McDonald's? We found three barbecue places. Bakery, tacos, deli, grill, uh, tap house, brew house, crazy lemon. I try two. Okay, KFC. There's got to be one here. McDonald's. Time. What? Oh, I barely didn't get option two. If I had looked right instead of left, I would have got it. Did you pass one? Where did I pass one? Turns out McDonald's is in Texas. Uh, okay, option three wins. Congratulations. Jesus McCheeses. All right, everybody gets 250 spins. Uh, yo, Toxin, what was the what was the location you said? We'll do <laughs> we'll do whatever's the the farthest away. Meadow, South Dakota. Okay. okay, here's the next bet. We apparently this is the farthest spot from a McDonald's. I don't I don't know where this is, except that it's in South Dakota. So um how how long is it going to take for this let's do we'll we'll do we'll double all the time so 0 to 1 minutes oops let's do Okay. How long to find a McDonald's? The bets are now open. Option one is just based on minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four, five. Start the center of Australia. Does Australia have a lot of McDonald's? I was going to do America because I know that America has McDonald's, you know? A lot of people in two to three minutes. Again, you can split your bets if you want. Prague. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Australia yeah, has heaps. Interesting. I did not know that. All right. Most people going with uh, between two and four minutes. Oh, actually, most people saying over four. Interesting. Okay. This could be a long one. Let's um, see what happens. Doug, please crush this. Did you go all in on one? This is your chance to go super rich, Barn. If I if I find this for you in under a minute, Barn, you're finally gonna get that gamer god. Finally, I'm excited for you. I'll do my best. Once again, I'm okay. only allowed to zoom in. My Fact plan. Of the day from statistics, which counted the number of McDonald's in each state, North Dakota came last with 29. About your point earlier, Texas was second with 1,220. Interesting. I was very wrong about Texas then, but I was right in the fact that Texas had a lot of other options. Like I found five barbecue places before I found. Thank you for the water. All right. Here we go. Starting in North Dakota. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm zooming back in. Here we go. I'm going east. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do this for like a minute. Get the way the fuck out of South Dakota. Because I know it sucks. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. I don't know where I am. I'm looking for a freeway. Freeway. Eh, should I go farther? I'm going to go farther. I'm going to go farther. I'm just going to get as far away as I can. Okay, I'll give it like five more seconds. And now I'm just looking for a freeway. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> I don't see any roads. Okay. 
Is it, what lake is this? Mi oh, this is the Missouri River. Okay, we're in Missouri. Actually, I don't know where the Missouri River is. Where? Okay, highway. I'm following this. I'm, I'm going to look for a town. Uh. Uh. I'm looking for a, a town or city. And then almost, and then I'll zoom. Sorry, barn. There was a chance. Wait, wait, wait. I lost the freeway. Where did the freeway go? Okay. I think I can get. Okay, here, here we go. What? No McDonald's? Oh shit. Oh, that's bad. I'm really zoomed in now. I'm. Fuck. Where the hell is it? Where's the town? I thought for sure that that was going to be it. Because I'm not in South Dakota anymore, I don't think. I'm literally looking for a town, and then I'm going to zoom in. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Burger Shack. Burger Mac. Sh really? Really? There's... Come on, Falkton. <laughs> My two minutes. Shit. All right. Over two. Why don't they have McDonald's? Goddamn Falcon. I've had enough of Falcon shit. Uh, no, that's a church. God damn it. Uh, nope. Okay, okay, here, 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 here. Definitely gonna happen. Subway. Simply charming. Uh, Roosters. Are you kidding me? Does this place not have McDonald's? There's no way. This is like a town in America. There's no way there's not a McDonald's here. Are you fucking kidding me? You have a Subway and a Rooster's Bar and Grill? There's no there's no McDonald's. I'm so fucked. I zoomed in again. What do you mean zoom? Like, okay, I'm going back and then zooming in more. Maybe, maybe it's just not visible. This is like, this is, I'm all in though, because I'm way too zoomed in now. Bread box. They have to have one here. I mean, I don't know. It, it showed. I don't think that was a good idea. It showed the subway. That it would have shown a McDonald's. I think I'm fucked. That town does not have a McDonald's. You're killing me, Fulton. Oh, I'm so bummed. I can't go all in on on random towns. It was a terrible idea. What am I at? Okay, I have 20 seconds, right? And otherwise, everybody, four plus minute wins. <laughs> I'm so zoomed in. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, corner grocery. This is a little town. They might have McDonald's. No? Fuck. Five seconds. Three. Oh, god damn it. Where the fuck are McDonald's? How do they have subways and not McDonald's? Who does that? Alright. I'm giving up. Where am I? Well, I was in the middle of... Oh. Dude, I thought I got out of South Dakota. <laughs> Instead, I just got, like, more in <laughs> into obscure South Dakota. Alright, we got totally boned by Falkton, alright? That was not my fault. I got totally Falked that time. Because they baited me with, like, the bars and the burger shack. I was like, if they have a bar and a burger shack, they're definitely going to have a McDonald's. Instead, they bend me over a table and falk me. Oh, roasted. Check the Discord to see a picture of the nearest McDonald's. I don't have it up. I'll check it out. I'll check it later, though. I mean, I could just search McDonald's right now. It'll... Oh, who's right there? There's three of them? Oh, there's two of them. Still, though, come on. Why does Falkton have zero and this place has... This is like two miles away. Oh, whatever. Okay, four plus minutes wins. Congratulations. Sorry, Barn. Almost got him. You got Falked. Um, okay, I have some other ones. All right, you guys know how there's a... A lot of Starbucks. 
like in every city, but especially in Seattle where Starbucks was uh, created. So why don't we go to like these mountains outside of Seattle? We'll go like over here. So as you, as you can see, I know that if I go west, I hit Bellevue in Seattle, right? So I basically know where to go. Um, and this one is going to be how fast can I find five Starbucks? Go to Canada? I'm not going to go to Canada for Starbucks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to good old-fashioned American <laughs> Starbucks. Okay, everybody gets 300 spins. How long to find five Starbucks? And we'll do it in 30 second increments again. Bets are now open. What's the song? This is Dangon Ropa. Everyone has more <laughs> barn. I mean, I think the confidence play was the way to go. I think it was possible. It, if I hadn't underestimated how far it was to get out of South Dakota, I think it would have been fine. Hi, Cora. Okay. Closing the bets in five, four, three, two, one. Five Starbucks. Five Starbucks. One Starbucks will take probably two seconds. It will be slightly harder to get get all of the Starbucks. Slightly harder, though. It's still probably going to be like 30 seconds. All right, I'm closing the bets. Okay, most people saying two plus minutes. I feel like that's reasonable. Um, what I'm probably going to do... Hi, Cora. What I'm probably going to do is just go straight for downtown Seattle. I'm going to cross over Bellevue and just go to downtown because having visited Seattle before, there's literally a Starbucks every block. Like, not not as a joke. Like, literally in downtown, it is every single block. Okay, let's, uh, let's find some Starbucks. Can we see the leaderboard? Sure. Leaderboard right now. Pokal. Hacky's fee. Some guy. Jesus McCheesus up in the lead. Now's a big chance for an upset. Okay, as a reminder, all I can do is zoom in. Once the timer starts, I will zoom in. Three, two, one, time. Okay, I'm crossing over Bellevue. I'm going for downtown. Okay, should be at Seattle soon. Okay, here's Seattle. Um, are you kidding me? Where are the Starbucks? Where are the Starbucks? I'm zooming in a bit. Okay, all right, there they are. Oh God, there's so much stuff. Where is Starbucks? Are you kidding me? I'm zooming in more. One Starbucks, one. Two. Three. Uh, four. And where Starbucks, where are you? Where am I? Is this downtown? What well, I like left the city somehow. It has to be there has to be Starbucks! Five! 107. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I should have I should have done that a lot faster. I felt like I, I must have missed one. There's just so many restaurants. Barn, I think what you need to do is vote on exactly the opposite of what you think will happen. I think you miscounted one? What do you mean? Where am I, by the way, in Seattle? Oh, I went to, I went south. If I had, okay, that was the problem. I, I came over here, which is like where I wanted, and then I should have gone north, because then I come into downtown, and it's probably like just everywhere. Yeah, Starbucks, Starbucks, there's Pete's Coffee, Starbucks, 
Okay, I was exaggerating. It's every two blocks. No, every block. Oh, that is two blocks. <laughs> Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks. <laughs> There's so many Starbucks. Anyway. Okay. Um, congratulations to option three. You nailed him. Jesus McJesus, well done. All right, why don't we do um, why don't we do five pizza places in New York City? Everybody loves a good old fashioned New York pizza, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start like here. So you guys see New York, is, the actual like Manhattan is here. I'm gonna start like to the west of Newark. Actually, no, I'll just start right here on this island. So again, I'm right here. This is where I'm starting. And then I'm gonna move into uh, Midtown Manhattan to just look for pizza places. Again, I have to find, I have to find five. And, let, and let's just clarify the uh, the the uh, specifics of this. From, from this time, I'll say I have to click on the pizza place so that it's clearly registered with you guys and you know which one I'm talking about. And it has to have pizza in the title or a name that very clearly implies that it is pizza, right? <laughs> Like I'm not gonna like bar and grill doesn't count. They probably do pizzas. There's probably like Italian places, but it's gotta it's gotta be clearly designated as a pizza location, which does eliminate a little bit of the options. Um, it should still be probably pretty easy though. All right, everybody gets three hundred spoons. Bets are now open. How long does it find five pizza places in New York City? Bets are open. If you're new, we're on Google Maps. I'm zoomed into a, a specific location and I have to find something. In this case, I have to find five pizza places in New York City. Bet it all on black. You can uh, you can bet on multiple options. Try Wikipedia Speedrun X. I'll probably do that a different stream, but I do want to do that at some point because it looks really fun. All right, closing the bets in Five, four, three, two. Do Tim Hortons in Ontario? Yeah, I was actually going to do that. I was going to do Tim Hortons in Canada. All right, closing the bets. Okay, most people saying 30 to 60. I feel like that's a little aggressive, to be honest. Here, here's my reasoning. I think that New York is so dense that Google Maps is not going to, is not gonna show me all of the pizza places. I'm obviously, I'm gonna zoom in pretty close, um, but I I would actually, I think two minutes plus is a reasonable option here. And I'm also not familiar with New York City really, so uh, let's find out. I have to click five pizza places in three, two, one, go. Okay. I'm going on right. Oh, wait, did I cross? I didn't cross yet, right? I need to go over to New York. Shit, I, didn't, I don't remember the map. Okay, I'm going to Manhattan. Manhattan, Manhattan. I think I'm in Manhattan. Bubby's, Mr. Chow. None of these have pizza in them. I'm zooming in. None of, there's a McDonald's. None of these have pizza in the name. Domino's Pizza, one. Right there. All right, I'm not... Uh, that's Italian, but that doesn't count. Pizzeria, two. Uh, it's Greek. I'm going up. Lot. Okay, it must be in like Chinatown or something. I gotta get out of here. Dude, where are the pizza places? Pizza, Lombardi's three. Prince Street Pizza, four. Last one coming up.
Pizzeria Sobielos. Boom. 132. Oh, just barely an option four. Shit. Oh, sorry. I tried. Oh. There's just so much stuff to look at, you know? There's a lot of things here. Option four wins it. 92 seconds. Damn, that's a big payout. Soccer Axel, 14 time payout right there. You won, Barn? <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, I, I would have been super dumb of me if I accidentally stayed in Jersey City. I wasn't I like wasn't thinking at the beginning, so I probably lost like a few seconds there. It was dumb. Alright, everybody gets 300 spoons. We could do Starbucks for the for New York. Why don't we run Starbucks real fast? All right, bets are open. How many Starbucks? Oh, wait, actually, sorry. I need to show you where I'm starting. Before you bet, I'm going to start... Uh, let's start at the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> so then I have to go northeast. Bets are open. You can redo your bets, by the way, if you if you it. start in Central Park for Starbucks. Oh, that would have been good. Well, at this point, the bets are already open. We could do Central Park for another thing. Again, this is for five Starbucks. Uh, let's say that let's say I don't have to click them. If you want to override your bet, you can do that. But uh, let's say I don't have to click them. I say that because then Google Maps opens up this side thing, like right here. And it takes up a lot of visual space. So as long as I point at it and identify it, five Starbucks. That's it. What city are we in? New York City. It's the American dream to find five Starbucks in New York City. My plan, I go northeast to Manhattan and just keep going northeast. And I feel like I'll find them pretty quick. All right, I'm going to close the bets. This is a nice even spread. Most people say in four, but... I think this could be faster than Seattle potentially. Just because the city layout is so is so like even. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Oh, uh, let's go get some Starbucks. All right, I'm gonna zoom into this level once it kicks me out. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it didn't. Okay, whoops. I don't know why it didn't zoom me out. Now I'm really, really zoomed in. Okay, right, here we go, here we go. Um, where the hell are the... Okay, there's a Duncan. Where the hell are the Starbucks? There's so many Duncan. Chipotle. Duncan. Okay, Starbucks. One. Starbucks 2, right here. Starbucks 3. Starbucks 4. Starbucks 5, time. 52 seconds. Boom! That one was quick. Way more Dunkin' Donuts. Option number 2. Way to have the faith. Jump Sue, 47,000 spoons. All right, somebody suggested Tim Hortons in Canada. Uh, we go to Toronto? Hey, is anybody Canadian here? And where should I... Uh, where should we go for a lot of Tim Hortons? Yo, Bazzy82, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Do you get to the Doug Doug district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Hey, Doug Doug, I am a new flavor of pepper. Now I SNT that cool. Thank you, man. Uh, leaderboards. Jumpsu is now way the lead. Newfoundland and Labrador. Okay, I'm Labrador sounds cool. I'll do Labrador. Actually, hold on. Let me test something. 
So if I'm like this and I press my start key, why does it zoom me out like that? It's kind of weird. Oh well. I'm there, I'm up there. Are you in Canada? Wait, what if I'm like up here? Now if I zoom in. Why is it, I don't know why it does that. Oh, well. oh, oh, gotcha. Barn, fourth place. But hey, you're probably also in Canada. Don't be shy. All right, uh, Labrador, Labrador City, that, that, start from Iceland, <laughs> we could do Iceland for something, um, Southern Ontario, I mean, if we want to do a, a lot of them, Southern Ontario, you got to forgive me, I'm, um, not familiar with, uh, like here? Southern Ontario? Or is that is that the name of, of a city? Like here. Oh, got it, got it. Here, here. Okay. Um, oh, so right near Toronto. Okay. Let's do here. So I'm going to start here. Near Toronto, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna start here and I'm I'm gonna go northeast. So I'm gonna shoot right up into Toronto. And the goal is to find five Tim Hortons, which if anybody doesn't know, is like the McDonald's of Canada, I guess. I don't know if any Canadians here have a better description of it. I mean McDonald's of Canada in the sense that it's very prevalent. But uh yeah. Alright, let's find McDonald's. It's the Starbucks of Canada. Oh, it's more cafe-oriented? Interesting. For some reason, I thought it was... Not that. All right, 350 spoons for everybody. How long will it take me to find five Tim Hortons in Canada? Well, Toronto. I'll put Toronto. Toronto, Canada. Bets are now open. Okay. See, I like these because it's like a nice even spread in the middle. You know, like the middles, you can you can go for a fringe bet if you want. Have you been to Toronto? No, I have not. I have been to, what's the place I went to? Uh, It's like, oh God, where is it? Well, I'm not going to move the, the map right now. It's like Whit Whittle, it's something with a, it's a really, really small town in Canada. I went for work. EA Canada offices. No, it's not, not Vancouver. What was the name of it? These are all for Vancouver. What the hell was the name of that place? Mm, eh, whatever. All right, closing the bets. Windsor? Not Windsor. It was a really, really small town, nearish, a uh, larger one. Remember when you gave Jones Zias his economy? He just got a job offer. Fuck. Hey. Get it, Sandy. With me. Man, what the hell was it? Well, I'll look, I'll look in a sec. Is this GeoGuessr? It's like it's Tim Horton's guesser, I guess. Uh alright. Let's fucking find Tim Horton's. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going north to Toronto. Whoa, I'm way zoomed in. Why didn't it zoom me out? Normally it zooms me Okay, I assume this is Toronto. Where is Toronto? Toronto? Okay, Toronto? This is Toronto, right? Oh god, I may have screwed this up. I, I don't know why I was so zoomed in. Normally it zooms me out. Okay, here we go, here we go. KFC, but no Tim Hortons. Uh, where the hell are the Tim Hortons? No. No. McDonald's. Am I like... I'm probably not in downtown. I gotta go more east. Tim Hortons, one. I'm going east till I hit the water and then moving up. 
I should have planned for where Toronto is better. I have no idea where I am. Go closer to the lake? Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Tim Hortons, too. This is like a suburb. Where the, f where the fart am I? Tim Hortons 3 is on the left. I must not be in downtown. I mean, obviously. Oh, here we go. Baskin Robbins. Tim Hortons 4. One more. Are you Tim oh no I like left the city I think shit it's got to be on the road somewhere though right the fuck am I oh no we're like going, okay are these uh, I, got, I gotta I gotta follow the, the where the, there's a new song Tim Hortons boom time two minutes 22 seconds Where am I? Oh, I didn't even get close to Toronto. All right, well, that was the issue. Good job, me. Yeah, this would have been a little easier here. Literally suburbs. I mean, the good news is that I found in the suburbs... I found five Tim Hortons in about two minutes. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I screwed that. Okay, for the city ones, I'll, like, start in the city from now on because I think me starting away from the city makes it really hard to tell where I am when I'm zoomed in. So uh, I won't say that's my fault. Uh, I'll just blame it on, on you guys probably. All right, I'm going to get 350. It makes things more interesting when you mess up. That's true. Do Chinese and Indian? You mean like Chinese food? Or like, what do you, what do you mean? Boston for hot dog places? Are there a lot of like dedicated hot dog places? We could do bars. Something for Greece. With Greece, the issue is I just wouldn't know. I think most of the names wouldn't be in English. I could be wrong. Um, I actually don't know how uh, maps works. Let's check. All right, so we, I mean, we could, we could take a quick trip over to Europe. So like if we went into Greece. Uh, oh, okay, so it is all translated. Yeah, I was just curious how, how maps would show it, you know? Cause like this place right here is not translated. I would not know what this is, which makes it a little bit harder. And of course I speak Greek, but um, but you guys don't, so it wouldn't be fair. I mean, we could um, we could do like I, I could start in uh, we could like start on the South Pole and the, <laughs> and then um, or the North Pole. Where is the North Pole? Here. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we started uh, start at the North Pole, but I'm like pretty zoomed out, you know, so I have to zoom down. And then maybe it's as fast as possible to find. How about I start at the North Pole. I am this zoomed in, which I don't really know how zoomed in this is. Sushi in Japan. I, I'm worried that it won't be translated, though. There's a famous hut in Antarctica. Start at Alert Station. Where's Alert Station? Oh, 
I mean, that's pretty. That's pretty north. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty far north. <laughs> okay, so we could start at the Canadian Forces Alert Station, and then maybe we have to find a uh, speeder. Well, the South Pole, I like know where it is. I just scroll south. We can just pick a random one. Pick like the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Find Africa. I mean, that's not gonna. <laughs> I know where Africa. I know where continents are. Later, prickly splatting. Hot dogs. All right, we'll just do hot dogs in Boston. All right, so we'll say I have to get to. I'll, I'll get to uh, Boston and. Um, Trying to find one of Ancient Wonders. I don't know where they are. McDonald's in Genova, Italy. Is there a McDonald's in Italy? Anyway, I'm going to start at the, the North Station here. This zoomed in. I'm going to have to find one hot dog place in, Bo in uh, Boston. But it has to have the words hot dogs. Either hot dog or Frank's in it. It has to be very explicitly um, be a hot dog location. And with that said, did I get spoons already? McDonald's are thinking pretty much all you hear. I just don't think they're as like condensed as. Yeah, I'm going to Boston from the North Pole, basically. All right, whatever. You can have more spoons. All right, 300 spoons. Uh, how long does it take me to find one hot dog, please? in Boston. Now, I'm leaving at the same time because I'm fairly zoomed out. So I should, I think I can get to Boston fairly fast. But y your call, bets are now open. Kind of kosher, well that's just the same as a McDonald's, event, but. All right, I'm gonna close the bets. Five. Oh, not all of them are. I don't know how I would tell them. Five, four, three, two, one. Closing it. Okay, hundred thousand spoons of the pot. Nice even spread here. The name of the game is to find a place that sells hot dogs in Boston with hot dog in the name. Starting at kind of the North Polish area. They have 180 restaurants in Israel? That's insane. All right. Starting in. I'm going to be this zoomed in. If if map zooms me out, I will zoom back into this level. Three, two, one. Okay. Going south. Oh, I'm actually not that zoomed in. Uh oh. Am I in the ocean? Where am I? No, no, no. I'm still... Still going south. I'm not as zoomed in or zoomed out as I thought I was. I thought I was really zoomed out. <laughs> I'm shaking my desk. You went past Brazil? No, because... I, I think I'm somewhere... Am I in Antarctica? Oh, I'm at the... Oh, I'm at the, bo oh, I'm at the bottom of the world. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, oh, so, oh, South Africa. Wait, we're in Africa. Okay, let's go get that hot dog. Screw the fuck out. Okay, Cuba, Cuba. There we go, there we go. Okay, Boston, 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 Boston. Uh... It's gotta have hot dog in the name. I don't see anything with hot dog in the name. These probably all sell hot dogs. Where the fuck? Can 
Nobody has hot dog in their name. Come on. Sushi went, went. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we can find a hot dog place. Do they name? Maybe they just don't name places after hot dogs in Boston. I could see that happening. <laughs> what the fuck is a hot dog place? Come on. Beer works. Sports grill. Am I near the, the stadium? I'm zooming in more. <laughs> Where the fuck is a hot dog place? <laughs> I'm boned. Yeah, that's option six. Alright, this is just for fun now. Dude, I don't, I don't think hot dog places exist in Boston. Sorry to everybody from Boston, but uh, your hot dogs don't exist. This is irrefutable evidence. You've got a, a shitload of Dunkin' Donuts, though. Did I miss one? What do you mean refund bets? I mean, I guess I do need to find it. I need to make sure it's doable. If I literally cannot find one, which I don't think is real... Here, I'll play loud music to help. Do you think, like, the hot dog places are too small to show up on Google Maps? Maybe that's it, because it's like a hot dog stand, you know? <laughs> so many Dunkin' Donuts. Dude, I, I don't... Oh, whoops. Well, I accidentally clicked out. <laughs> Refund them, they don't have a hot dog in the name. Just find a Frank's. I mean, that's like kind of cheating. I accidentally clicked back, by the way. Okay, hold on. If I had not shot down way too fast, and I had just gone... I missed Boston by quite a lot, to be fair. I, start, I started here, right? I, I mean, I could go... I might... I was here earlier. Wait, where, where's the stadium? Fenway. Okay, there's got to be one near Fenway, right? Fenway Johnny's. That's not a... Sausage connection. Close, but I'm not... That's That doesn't count. It, there literally might... The sausage guy doesn't count. <laughs> I might refund. I think I have to refund. That I can't find one. Right? No? I, but, like, there's a difference between getting the time correct and me not even being able to find one. I literally, like, we've, I've, I went to Fenway Park, and there's no places that have hot dog in the name. Search one in the search bar. Let me see. Okay, how about this? If there, if there is a hot dog place, like, really close to Fenway Park with hot dog in the name, I'm going to count it. All right? That, that's how I'll decide. It has to be within, like, let's say five blocks of Fenway. So, like, this area. If there's a hot dog place here, then I think it's legit that I could have found it. Hot dog. Sausage guy, sausage connection. None of these have hot dog in the name. Wall burgers, no, no. None of these have hot dog in the name. Refund. I'm refunding. Canceling the bet. Everybody gets their money back. There are no places with hot dog in the name. But you know what? I did see a absolute shitload of Dunkin' Donuts. So how about... Uh, I start the lawn on D. Why don't we start at the Capitol building or city hall? 
and uh, see how long it takes me to find a Dunkin' Donuts in Street View. Let's finally try that out. So a note with Street View, so I have to see it, right? But I have to do this, and it's a little bit slower to move. So we're, we're literally going to walk through Boston and try, and try to find <laughs> fucking uh, Dunkin' Donuts. All right, everybody still has their bets, or their, their spoons. Street Zoo's gonna take years. There are a lot of Dunkin' Donuts in downtown Boston. Like, that, like that's their thing. Okay, the bets are open. How long in Street View does it take to find a Dunkin' Donuts? One Dunkin' Donuts. One Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, field trip to Boston. Come on, class. Thank you for putting up the bets, by the way, Barney. I guess I'll give my prediction after. Uh, what's the name of the song? This is GTA 5 Setup. It's a do dope ass song. Oh, we'll do the. Uh, oh, we'll do uh, Escape from the City, Sonic. Can we see the leaderboards? Yes, leaderboards are Jupsu with 46,000. Zocker Axel, 21,000. Jesus with Jesus, 14K. Chance with 13. Cross Ram, 12. Barn, you're still up there, Barn. You are absolutely in contention. Uh, you are, I believe it's 16th place. Okay. Closing those bets in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Final bet. Most people saying two plus minutes. Nice even spread though. Except nobody thinks zero to 30 seconds. If I find one immediately, which is totally possible, like they're going to be a Duncan like right there. <laughs> Like it's but it's downtown Boston. There could be a Dunkin' Donuts like right there. Uh, whoever bet on option one, you're gonna be fucking rich. All right, here we go. Find a Dunkin'. We have to we have to visually confirm that it's Dunkin', and then I hit the timer. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, uh, I don't see one. Uh oh, it's kind of blurry. Okay, this is probably Dunkin' here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go down there. No, no, no. Uh, Starbucks. Copy it. No. Seven Eleven. Really? No Duncan here. There's got to be a Duncan like right here. Duncan Donuts. Time. Thirty two seconds. Shit. That was so close. Oh, damn it. Option two, one of the underdogs. Damn, option one almost had it. The pony ran 29,000 spoons. Oh, dude, Street View is way more fun. Barn, you are no longer in the top six. You're up there. Option one would have been loaded. All right, everybody gets. All right, what should we do for Street View next? Street View is pretty great. We could do start. We could do a Starbucks uh, in New York. We could do a pizza place in New York. Let's try. Let's try a pizza place in New York again. So it's just one pizza place. Let's start at. It has to be way closer. We could start in the middle of Central Park. <laughs> okay, so we're start. We'll start in the middle of Central Park. This is the middle, right? Uh, okay, start here. So I have to I have to get out of Central Park first. There's definitely no pizza places in Central Park. Also, do they have Street View here? Okay. So I got to get out of Central Park, which I don't know how long this will take. And then we just have to find a pizza place. If it is clearly a pizza place, I will count it. It does not have to have pizza in the name. But if it is obviously a pizza place, then I'm going to do it. All right, y'all. Everybody gets fucking 400 spoons. Let's do like four more of these and then we'll wrap it up. How long to find one pizza place in New York City? Starting in Central Park. Bets are now open. I'm going to uh, go empty my pizza place. Thank you.
I think I look more like a train conductor than Waluigi. Okay, most people sing one to one and a half minutes. I think that's optimistic. I think it's going to take at least a minute to get out of Central Park. <clears throat> but then again, I don't really know New York City very well. Um, I do have to go this way, though, to get out so that I can get into Mount Manhattan. Probably either way would be fine, though. All right. How long? In fact, we should... Uh, Let's make this just an obnoxious experience for everybody. Perfect. How long does it take to find a pizza place? Oh, God. In New York City. Three, two, one. See any. Okay, there. Oh, we're already there. Uh, I don't see any. I should. I should go along Central Park. I should go along Central Park. I don't see any stores. Should I go? Should I go farther in? I don't know New York well enough. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. This is all residential. Okay, there's got to be one here, right? Is that pizza right there? Right there? It has red sign. Red sign. No, no. That's like fashion. Am I in the fashion list? I don't know where I am. Um... So, where should I go? Where should I go? Uh, I'm going to keep going down the main street. I don't. Did I miss one? Nothing down there. I'm, I'm gonna follow down. The, there has to be one soon, right? Shit, there's a fucking mail truck. I can't see. Is that pizza? No, that's jewelry. God! How have we not found. What? What? I'm, I'm shocked by how long this is taking. I don't know if I should. This is like a main road. Is that a pizza place? I'm gonna go in the middle and look. No, God. Where is your pizza? New York? What the fuck? We found like a hundred fashion stores and no pizza. Two minutes. God damn, dude. I feel like it should have not been this hard, right? Did I just go to the totally wrong area? Whoa. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Let me get. I want out. Let me out of here. How do I leave? Why am I in a salon? Do I do this? No. How? They just let you go into stores? She's telling me to turn around. I'm sorry. I, I don't, I'm not a native New Yorker. 
I assumed that there was pizza on every single corner without me having to really look. Am I just in the wrong district? Okay, we're... If you had kept going straight, there was like 10 pizza places. Oh, come on. Okay, how about this? So... Option 6, 1. Congratulations. 5% of you. Uh, let's pick a spot that is like definitely going to be near pizza. Would it be like Midtown Manhattan, right? What Or Lower Manhattan? What would be the most likely place to find a pizza a spot? If Empire State Building. Start from the Empire State Building. Alright, is there any... As long as there's not pizza within view right now, we'll start from here. Right? This this has to be really close to pizza. Chinatown? Is it... Am I not in the right spot? 350 spoons. Yeah, we'll do 450. Let's do uh, three more, three more, uh, three more rounds, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Okay, 450 spoons for everybody. How long to find one pizza place in New York City, starting at the Eiffel Tower? Should I should try Brooklyn? I feel like it's just so condensed here in Manhattan that it's a higher likelihood of of finding one quickly. I mean, I could be wrong, right? I'm not super familiar. Try finding a convenience store in the middle of Tokyo. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, but I wouldn't be able to tell what it is, probably. The Eiffel Tower? What did I say? Empire State Building. Starting from the Empire State Building. Not from the Eiffel Tower. Rigged. Okay. Closing the bets in three. Two. One. Closing them. Boom. All right. We've got a nice even spread here. Okay. It has to be clearly identified as a pizza place. Bets are now closed. Does not have to have the name pizza in it, but it has to clearly be a pizza place. If it's called like fucking Joe's Slices or something, that, that'll still count. Okay. Uh, find a pizza place. It's a high tourism area. Well, that's why I'm expecting a pizza place, like, right down the street. I I think this is going to take, like, ten seconds. Okay. Once the, once the music drops, I'm heading this way. Louder? It's pretty loud. It's so loud. All right. Three, two, one, and go. No. It's... Is that Pizza Place? Staples? Is that... I can't tell. No, it's a bistro. It's a bistro. God damn it. Sta Why is there such a big Staples? Who needs Staples? Wait, wait. Was that Pizza? Was that Pizza? Wells Fargo. God damn it. All these red... Okay, right there, right there. Knockout Foundation. Eat, no, no. Uh, that's a Baskin Robbins, Dunkin' Donuts. Right there, right there. No. Is that pizza? No, that's a deli. Dude, where are the pizza places? Where is the pizza? We're, we're like... Uh, there? Is that pizza? Oh, that's a market. Uh, nope, that's Dunkin' Donuts. Go, 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 go. How is there not a pizza place? What? Uh, pie, pie face. Is, is that pizza? Pizza. 120. Why are you only looking at the red building? Cause that's what pe that's what pizza places look like. They paint them red. Oh, there's actually two. God damn it! Okay, so when I finally find one, there's two next to each other. They're literally next to each other. Like, come on! 
Why wouldn't you spread out a bit? Is this another pizza place? No, no, it's slightly different. Okay, at least it's not like three on one block, but... It's red because Mafia kills a lot of people. Well, I think it's more because the tomato sauce. What do you mean not pizza? It's called Pie Face. It's 100% pizza. All right, congratulations to option three. 25% of you. Creamy Bats, 47,000 spoons. God damn. That's literally a pizza place. Yeah. I mean, one of these is definitely a pizza place. Do American flags in Washington, D.C.? That is a really good idea. That's a great idea. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think I want to do... So we're going to do... Uh... Well, I don't know where to start, though. Because, look, okay, the white, like, the capital would have buildings. Do Russian flags in Washington, D.C. Um, okay, we could start at the Washington Monument. I don't know if Street View works there. Okay, I think it's going to be easy to find an American flag. What if we start a little farther away uh, at the Capitol? Okay, I don't see any. Probably if I go for Pie Face is a store, not a pizza store. Well, it doesn't matter because I was looking at the pizza place. The, in the in the exact same view of Pie Face, there was also a pizza place. So coincidentally, same thing. Uh, all right, everybody gets six hundred spoons. If we do Street View, just one American flag. If we start in like near the Capitol building, uh, how long does it take to find an American flag? An American flag in Washington, D.C. Boom. Bets are open. Leaderboards are chance with 67,000. Creamy Bats coming up close. And Jupsu. Charkolsky doing well. Astral Mage doing well. Mr. Moopy doing well. Crossram doing well. Jedi Weapon doing well. Jimmy Grass. Barn, I'm noticing that you are not in the top anymore. <laughs> Did did you notice the other pizza place before night? Was there one? Did I miss one? Obviously, I'm not trying to, uh, you know, fake it or anything, but... Do you get to the dog district very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. The 99 cent went right next to it. No, I saw Pie Face first. Uh, Amp Asian Lives Matter. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, I didn't open the bets. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, bets are now open. Got five options. I My plan, just so you know, is to go right for that building. Capitol building. I assume I'm going to find a flag pretty quick, but uh, it's, up, it's, you know, it's up to you. That was loud. That was pretty loud. Louder. I mean, it's pretty loud already, but we can, we can go even further beyond. It's pretty loud now. I can't even hear myself at all. I mean, I ow. It's very painful, actually. It's hurting my eardrum. Not even at 100 yet. This is 100. Woo! All right. Closing the bets in five. Four, three, two, one. It's louder for you than for us. Fly flies over respective. Oh, the toxin is cheating. He's trying to influence the the dumb tourist. Um. All right. Well, I'll turn this up just for you guys. We'll do Ducktales again. Yeah. Uh. I have headphones 
that are like, you know, professional grade headphones that are on full volume. So when we do these jokes where it's really loud, it's really fucking loud. And I have to keep it on max volume so that I know what the stream sounds like. Uh, but enough about me. Let's get back to America. Okay. As soon as we see a flag, that's time. Ready? Go. What? What happened? Okay. Street, 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 street. Let's go right for the capital. Where's the... I don't see any flags. Do you see any? I don't see any. I don't see any. Okay, I'm going out the back. I'm going out the back. No, no, no. What are you doing? Maps. It won't let me in. It won't let me go out the back. I can't go that way. Okay. Uh, I guess we're, we're going around. Oh, we got screwed. Okay. How are there no flags? I don't see any flags yet. Oh, it won't let me go in. I can't go that far. There's police. Shit. Okay. A new plan. Find a flag. Uh, th that thing. That building. Can I go in here? I can go in here. Where is our flags? Okay, I can go kind of towards Tapple. Where am I? Where the fuck is the flag? Can I go in there? It won't let me in. It won't let me in. Okay, going farther down. Oh, there it is. Time. Right here. Thank, thank you, random building. You saved us. God bless America. Option three. Chance just won 83,000 spoons. You missed one like 20 seconds in? Really? That's not a random building. Uh, nobody's ever heard of the... Uh, whatever that random building is up there. Wait, so I... No flags. I don't see any flags yet. Wait, 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 wait. Go in. I can't go that far. There's police. Where, where was it? Yeah. Okay. A new plan. Oh, oh, like up there. Oh, it was way up there. Oh, man. America sneaked a flag in there and I couldn't even find it. Damn, dude. Oh, that's rough. Dude, if, yeah. If I had, if I had been playing better. Sorry, guys. That's not even the one I saw. Oh, really? <laughs> well, America. You failed as an American citizen. Well, the problem is that my brain's gotten all muddled when we went up to Canada to find Tim Hortons, you know? I'm, I'm not thinking with enough freedom in my brain. All right, let's do, uh, let's do two more. Well, Barn, you should just go all in on the worst option on the next two. We'll do two more. Now, I'm going to do Wikipedia another one, or another uh, different stream. That's what I did. Yeah, but one more time. I mean, we'll do we'll do two more of these runs. Uh, okay, if we do street view, is there anything else that would be that would be particularly fun? Wait, I never played that one song request from a really long time ago. Sh shit, sorry. I don't know if that person is there. Well, here I'll do yours because you're probably here. I'll play both of those right now, though. Do you get to the Doug. district very often? I, I never played the oh, what am Pokemon. I of course you don't. Coffee shop in Amsterdam. The, the only issue is I just want to. Thank you, Mr. Shake, by the way. Uh, oil in Texas. What I want to do is make sure that it's something that's really easy to confirm, right? Like cafe is a little vague, you know. I, whereas like McDonald's is very, very, very clear. Try to find a cat. <laughs> trees? I mean, you can find trees. That's also what I mean. Like, deciding between a bush and a tree is, like, kind of hard. Wendy's? Street view. Street view. Find fire. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, this song's dope, Wonder Boy. An ocean in Colorado. Right. Find your house in LA. No, we're not gonna do that one. We could hit Seattle, we could hit what's another like iconic one? We could do barbecue. Barbecue's a little hard to confirm though. Find a barn somewhere. It's just I don't know. I don't know where to find barns on Google Maps. Boise is iconic. I it's not the word I would use. Thank you, Seattle Cats. Find an otter in the aquarium. I don't think they have street view into the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Um. Oh, God. I'm putting it into Google Translate. It turns out that Texas speech website that I've been using, I'm not really supposed to... Use. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fluffy body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, yeah, black. Oh, black, black and Fire yellow. Let's shake it up a little, Barry. Breakfast is ready, coming, hang oh, on wait, a second, on. I was hello, in the of Barry, a Adam, request. oh, you believe this is happening, he can't he'll pick oh, you well, up, good. looking right. sharp, use the stairs, your father buy good money for those, sorry, I am excited, here is the graduate, we're very pro of you, so a perfect report card, all this very pro, ma I got a thing going here, you do Seattle, you got lint on your face of Udopia, that's me, wave to us, we'll be in Rochin to the like... virgola zero zero zero, bye, Barry, he told you, stop flying in the house, hey, Adam, hey, Barry, is that fast gel a little, special day, graduation, never thought he make it, Three water? days oh, grad yes. school, three days high school, those were awkward, three days college, I am glad he took a day and he just kicked around fave. You did come back different, I'm very hearty, growing a mustache, looks good, you're about Frankie, yeah, you going to the funeral, no, I am not going. Everybody right knows now. sting someone, you die, nice. don't want to stay on a square, oh, we'll such a added. I guess I could have just gotten out of the way. We're gonna I do... love this incorporating this an so amusement loud. park into our day. <sighs> That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quit a bit of pump. Under the circumstances, fell Adam this? to How the are men. We are B right, men. That's Amen. enough B movie I'll... script. Thank you very much for the B movie. Um... Okay. Let's do two more. We'll keep it simple. We'll do a Starbucks in Seattle. For those who don't know, Seattle is where Starbucks started. So there are a fuckload of Starbucks in Seattle. I want to keep it like... Oh, whoops. This is where I'm starting. I actually don't see... I did not see a Seattle in that particular spot. This is the second to last one. Everybody gets 700 spoons. How long does it take to find a... Starbucks in Seattle. Boom. Bets are open. Came home early and <laughs> somebody broke in. Uh, and then we'll do... I don't know what to close it out. We could do McDonald's just to... to finding a specific location is rough because like it's so easy for that to... It's so easy for me to just get lost. Like Google's New York headquarters. There's no way I'm going to find that. I don't know New York at all. We can do San Francisco. We can do find the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Because I know San Francisco well. It's like, it could be like, I have to get onto the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, we can do that. Find a person walking a dog. <laughs> Alright, closing the bets. In five. Four. Two. 
find a tree in Greenland. <laughs> I don't think that's how Greenland works. Okay. Let's find Starbucks. Beds are close. Wait, this isn't intense enough. We're on the second to last. Let's find Starbucks. In three, two, one, time. Okay, I'm going farther into the city. Because I know it's not like, uh, oh, okay, down the closed road. I'm going up here. Fuck it. Just jumping up a lot for a little bit. Get out of there. Where the fuck am I? I'm, like, not in the city. Okay, yeah, here we go, here we go. This is busy. Um... What? What just... What just happened? Why is it jumping like this? No, 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 let me, let me back on the street. Where are the Starbucks? This is like the easiest thing ever normally. Why can't I find places here? Uh, Starbucks. 54. Right here. I can't believe that took that long. I thought that was easily gonna be... I'm surprised. Alright. Congratulations to option two. Chance. Just won 82,000 spoons. TNT Pro with a brutal 28,000 spoon. Loss. To go back in time. Oh, that's cool. All right. What, what did I say was the last one? All right, let's try, we'll try the Golden Gate Bridge. All right. So for anybody who doesn't know, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco is very iconic. And... Um, That's it over there. So, water. Why don't we do getting onto the Golden Gate Bridge? So I have to get to the entrance of the Golden Gate Bridge. And I'm going to start... Um, so I have to get... Up onto the bridge. Wait, what does the bridge even look like? Is this gonna work? Okay, this is the entrance to the bridge. This is kinda weird. I don't know if this is gonna work. Start in Golden Gate Park? That's like far though. Okay, let's say I have to get to the archway on the bridge. So I have to actually get either to it or past it. Oh, this is taking a really long time. Am I, st I think it's not moving. Okay, and then I think I, I just got it. Wait, what? It's like not letting me... There we go. Jeez, that took a while. Okay, so it's definitely possible. So we have to get to the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, the question is, where do we start? We can start from Golden Gate Park, but that's really far. So we probably want to start from, like, along the water. And then we have to run, start the Yacht Club. Start the Yoda statue. Where is the other statue? I think it's somewhere in the Presidio. Start in the Presidio? I could start... I just don't want to start, like, on the freeway, because that's easy. Mill the city in a random way. <laughs> I mean, we could... We could be, like, way away from it. It's just going to take a long time. We could start at Ghirardelli Square. Um, what's like an iconic spot? Do you get to the Gog district very often? Oh, 
What am I saying? Of course you don't. Thank you, Kangaroo. How did I only now learn about the Yoda statue? Nope. Right side of the Presidio. So like here. Like right, right at this corner. Look, pizza. So, okay. The final challenge. I have to get from here, on the right side of the Presidio, onto the Golden Gate Bridge and underneath one of the options, or one of the, the arches. That's the final bet. Everybody gets 1,250 spoons. Uh, I'm going to make the options really big, I guess. It's not going to be 30 seconds. We'll do minutes at a time. Now, we'll really spread it out. If we spread out the bets a lot, then, like, anybody could win. So, 0 to 90 seconds. And then, it's going to be... Uh, <laughs> 91 to 120. I know where to go because I know I know San Francisco pretty well. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. Make this a little less confusing. Two to 2.5 minutes. Let's do four to four point five minutes. I don't think it's gonna take this long. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, those are the options. How long to get to the Golden Gate Bridge? Boom. Song press. I'll get a little bit later. Put around. Bets are now open. This is the final bet. I start here in Street View, and I must make my way to the Golden Gate Bridge underneath the very first arch. Once I've passed the arch, then we're good. This is the final bet. So go all in on something, because it's more exciting. Closing in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Well, most of you guys think two to two and a half minutes. I feel like it's probably a little optimistic. All I know is that if any one of you bet on five plus minutes, you're going to win that thing. You're going to make so much money. It's insane. The bets are closed. Did you go all in on the last one? All right. Don't jinx it. All right. I mean, I'm going to do my best. Here's what I think could happen is I might not be able to get onto the freeway. I think I can but I might not be able to get onto the freeway or like have some issues because of Google Maps. But my plan, I'm gonna go there, towards the water. I'm gonna turn left. I'm gonna follow the coast until I see the Golden Gate Bridge. Go up, get underneath those arches. All right, all I have to do is play the best Google Maps of my life. Or play the best Google Street View of my life. All right, wait for the drop. Three, two, one, go. Okay, going going until I hit the water. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck is... What is going on? No, I... What is... Okay, that's uh, Palace of Fine Arts. This is fine. I know where I'm going, sort of. Okay, there's the, there's the water. Perfect. 
Okay, I'm on the freeway. This is what I wanted. I'm heading towards the... Heading towards the bridge. As long as I don't miss the on-ramp. It's not going to be five minutes, Barn. There's no way. Okay. Wait, did I miss it? I'm in the Presidio. Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, there's, there's Marin. Okay. I think I'm here. Okay, there's a Golden Gate Bridge. There's a Golden Gate Bridge. Am I going to beat 90 seconds? Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm getting ready. Dude, I crushed this. Finally. Yo, boy. Wait. No, no. Google Maps is like screwing up. Okay, I just have to get under that arch. Under that arch. Wait. What just happened? Can I get them? option one? Can I get option one? And I did it! <laughs> Fucking option one! 87 seconds! <laughs> San Francisco. Let's go. Congratulations to the 10% of you who bet on that. Boom. Chance just won 187. Thousand spoons, creamy bass. I finally did well. Finally. Congratulations to the winner, Chance, with a maniacal bet on option number one. The confidence bet gets him all of this. It takes it home with 191,000 spins. Congratulations. And as always, let's get a few Fs for our fellows who finished in very last place. Psycho Killer. I pay for Pixel. Barn 16. You do have 25. Do you get to the Doug, district the very often? Awesome. Saddest 25 oh, points I've ever seen. Of course you don't. Much better. Thank you for giving the sub. Welcome, Chance 1104, 1104, which I assume stands for the number of spoons that you have. Um, but God damn, congrats. All right, well done. A lot of people got close. This was like a nice even one for the most part, because any of these people could have won. Do another one, Doug, more challenging. Forgot the song press. Yes, thank you. I'll also get the water. Ooh. Ooh. All right. I think I'm going to call it for today. Uh, this is fun, though. We should um, do more of this. The team that won three-way... What? Did you do the B-movie script? Yes. Thank you so much. I just got super lucky. No, all skill. Uh... Would you consider jacking off to be a sport? Of course. Uh, I'm going to stream on Tuesday. I don't know what yet. I'll stream something. Breath of the Wild across the map challenge. I don't know what that is. Great Jerma. Is Jerma live? Sure. The team that won was three, not one. What do you mean? Option one was zero to 90 seconds. Are you doing the dog percent race? I'm not. I wanted wanted to, but um, I just haven't gotten the time to learn it. So another time though, or at some point in the future, because it seems super. Like it's a great concept. Like I love the idea of it. All right. The time was 1:27. Yeah, that's 87 seconds, which is option one. Uh, who should I raid? What is he doing? Minimalist challenge? Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's raid uh, game champ.
Look at MiGMAX emotes. Okay, I will do that after the stream. Uh, oh, F. Dude, these are awesome. Oh, rigged. Dude, MiGMAX, those are great. I'm definitely adding those. I'll do that right after this. Those are super sick. All right, yo, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I'm uh, rating Game Champ, who does lots of really, really, really cool gaming challenges on YouTube, which you should definitely check out. Stuff is super crazy. Uh, yeah, have a good one. I'll see you all on Tuesday. Figure out what, I'm not sure, but. Oh, have a great rest of your weekend, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out. Today was fun. This week was fun. I've been having a good week, so I appreciate all y'all. Okay, see you guys on Tuesday. Later, everybody. Yeah.